Hey, if you're watching this video, then chances are you're probably not subscribed. We are less than 500 subs away from the big 10,000. So if you enjoyed today's podcast or you've enjoyed any of our previous episodes, make sure you drop the sub. And without any further ado, enjoy today's episode. Welcome to the OSR's podcast, where we talk about RuneScape. I am one of your hosts, Mitman Cow, and next to me, I have the number one DFS on an Iron Man, uh, my boy, B boy. Uh, yeah, I'm a hardcore Iron Man player and a professional breakdancer. Let him, dude. Um, <laughs> get on, boys. Ranks as always. And uh, it's me, Rice Cup. So today we have the wonderful Mr. Amadrum. You guys probably seen him on YouTube or Twitch, but, uh, you know, Mr. Pet Hunter, a Collection Logist, Max Caper, you know, whatever you want, man. He's He's got it all. A professional clue squirrel juggler, a master clue Still? enthusiast. Yeah, he's he's insane. He, he does everything. But anyways, yeah, welcome to have you, Mr. Drum. How's it going? Good to be here. Appreciate you guys asking me to join. Yeah, so we're gonna. This is the uh, second podcast I've done. My bad. Oh really? What's what's the first one? What's the first one you had? Uh, The first one was like a year ago. Um, uh, It's actually my girlfriend's friends that asked me to be on. Oh. uh, Because they started a podcast, and I was like, "All right, I'll join." But this is the first podcast of people who uh, actively play RuneScape all the time. So. So they, oh hell yeah! This this one's gonna be way better, dude. I'm telling you right now. (laughs) Just based off of that alone. I didn't know we had a seasoned veteran in the house, bro. You're on your second man. I've only done one so far. What about you guys, man? I don't think huh? any of us have ever. Been I did on one other podcast. podcast. I did one other one. It was like oh, on a Spotify, yes. but RuneScape it was like RuneScape. You know, the the yeah. OSR's tryhards. I've, <laughs> I've done two. I did one with my tech buddy. Uh, he runs a YouTube channel called Retro Dodo, and then I also did Excel's one. Old school. Do you guys remember the oh, old yeah. RuneScape? Yeah, I still Excel? talk to I still talk to him. Yeah. every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. So I, I did his as well. I'm feeling bad now, dude. For the next week, anyone who reaches out through my Twitter DMs, I will go to your podcast. I don't care how small, and I'll talk. All right. Or how I big. can't be the only one out here you who's know. only done one podcast. This is ridiculous, dude. Only for a week, though. Only for a week. Only for a week. Gotcha. I, can say, uh, I was on a TED Talk before. Does that count as a podcast? You want a TED Talk? Dude, that's like an ultra I podcast. <laughs> I was on TED Talk one time. Damn. Damn. What, what was the TED talk? Actually, what was it about? I, I was actually performing. You know, I was I was oh. spinning on my head to flips and stuff like that. I wasn't really talking, but by the like, dude, are you trolling? <laughs> are you joking about being <laughs> professional? No, he, he, he's, no, he's serious. I, I'm not. I'm not trolling. <laughs> I've seen him. Right right I've seen him. Boys, we're gonna spice up drums podcast. If this video hits <laughs> 500 likes, my boy's gonna do a head spin. But the best part oh. is, by the time you like the video and you come back to the video. He's already been doing a head spin. All right, get ready, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll record it after, after the podcast. No, 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 it's so okay. Much, I got it. everything. Bro, I got you. I'll move the table, man. All right. Dude, we, uh, we can yeah, actually hurry your head. We can record okay. that separately and release it to the world if it does hit 500. It's happening, like a right? Video. Only on the OSR's podcast. <laughs> subscribe, dude. Bro. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Exactly. He's actually doing it. Actually, we have to move the phone for it. Yeah, he's going hard. He's this going is, hard. This is Yo. unexpected, man. Any, anyways, anyways, um, we're we're gonna be doing some Q and A's with Mr. Drum here, you know, for like the first thirty hour, and then we're gonna cover some other uh, stuff, you know, um, some race three, uh, you know, prelude stuff, some some uh, other spicy things, you know, oh, that happen. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's late. about to do it. But we'll do the oh the break oh, dancing. Let's go, <laughs> damn! Oh, look at one that. hand, all right. The frame rates can't keep it up because he's so fast. He's literally so fast. Uh, the frame rates can't keep up. Dude, of course this guy's friends with men. Oh, <laughs> that's just a warm up, bro. That was just that, that's just a warm up, guys. All right, all right. You got to fix your camera a bit. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Can he do the worm? I have a request. Can he do the worm, Mike? <laughs> yeah, your camera's the worm. Oh, they, they can't hear you. Can you do the worm? <laughs> Uh, do, it, do it after the stream. Do it, do it after the podcast then. Bro, uh, right. I'm not going to lie. There's like very little space. I'm afraid of kicking everything. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. That was pretty good improv. That was pretty good improv. All righty. All right. Anyways, who wants to uh, ask some questions for Mr. I got a, qu- I got my, I got a question. Yeah, and All right. no, no, it no, has no, been no, fine. plaguing my mind ever since I saw it. Uh, your intro, your pixel art is beautiful. Cool. How did you get stuff? that? Um, I haven't done that stuff in a while, but uh, I found an artist on Twitter that I commissioned to make 
like the art itself and then i tried to learn how to do like sprite animation for myself uh, but i haven't yeah. done that in a, a little while i still have like all the assets and all the art and stuff like that i, I just haven't Who's the plug? What, recently. what do you use it with? Like, what? What's the uh, program? It looks amazing. I am uh, like blown honestly, away I, just, by it. I did it in a, in a mix between like Premiere, Sony Vegas. I use mainly Premiere Pro now. Uh, probably not the actual programs you want to use for sprite animation, but I was just trying to learn how, like, just do like the most basic, simplest kind of stuff, and just did it that way. Nice. Okay. All right. On the Here. topic. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, right. You can go. I was just gonna ask because I'm I'm a huge fan of pixel art, and I, I don't even know if I've, I've seen your stuff. Sadly, uh, do you have a Twitter? I'll go follow that. But um, so you do RuneScape pixel art? Um, not in a while. I I did it at first because like I mean I've only been making I guess YouTube videos for RuneScape okay. for like, almost two years now, and I did it for like the first I don't know six to eight months or so because I figured if I want to get into the in the scene of making RuneScape content, I got to do something different that no one else is doing. And so I was like, okay, let me let me try and do some pixel art, pixel animation fights between me and a Sick. boss and stuff like that. And it was cool, uh, but it was costing a lot of money and not getting a lot of attention. And then I stopped doing that. And then I kind of like got lucky and a YouTube algorithm picked up one of my videos, which was had nothing to do with pixel art. And so I just, you know, just went from there and stopped doing that. Although uh, respect I, for trying, you yep. know. No, I feel that I feel like YouTube definitely kills creativity with its uh, algorithms, man. But damn, dude, do I love some pixel? I'm mean, gonna totally have to go back and back. watch that. We'll see. Yeah, I, I feel like that. I feel like sometimes when you get bigger, you can you can like prove to people that like your new idea is, is actually a banger, and then they're like, okay, all right, I'll just yeah. go for it. But like sometimes when you're starting out with something novel, it's a hit. Or, it's really fifty fifty, you know, as as the yeah. memers say, it's fifty fifty. Yeah. But, but yeah, no, I mean, it's still you fun know, to do. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. but like, drum, you know, you've you've dabbled in a lot of other things too. Are you know, you do you do some Blender here and there. You know, your thumbnail, I'd say, it's kind of like something that's unique to you, right? Uh, well, was more unique because I feel like nowadays people are starting to really pick up on that. Yeah, there's higher. a lot more people trying to do it. There's even Discord servers getting yeah, up with people just trying to learn. Blender yeah, like literally, like people are hiring yeah. people just for those I thumbnails. But but I just I just know that. You know, Drum was one of the first people that did it, and I was like, okay, that's his thing, you know, and and it's it works, you know, it it has it, it captures something, you know, in a way that the normal thumbnails in game can't. If you if you don't know what we're talking about, yeah. like it's like the Blender character style, where like he uses the Blender, you know, and then he he like what do you do? You export the model, yeah, right? Yeah, I right? basically just you can if you have the plugin on RuneLight, um, you can just basically export your character, whatever it's What's wearing, it um. I think it's just called model exporter in the plugin hub if you um, don't have it already. Um, but yeah, you you can ex oh. almost oh, export no. every other oh. thing. Okay, <laughs> there's a little bit of lag, but it's okay. You're, uh, yeah, I thought did I thought <laughs> yeah, I messed something up then. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. Yeah. You yeah, no, yeah, basically export almost anything. Not not everything. Like you can't do buildings, things like that. Uh -huh. um, although there is one person, actually one or two people currently working on a world exporter. So oh. <laughs> imagine like all of the nightmare arena, everything around it, basically exporting that entire thing out. Oh, I gotta try and some of that. <laughs> should be should be coming out, I don't know, within the next like month or so. Kinda depends on the guy putting the, you know, effort and the time in to make that kind of thing. But pretty soon hopefully you'll be able to export everything. But anyone can do it. Anyone can download that plugin. So, uh Blender's free and try it out, all that kind of stuff. No way. All right, you just answered my question. I'm literally doing everything that you yeah, just yeah. said. That's like the <laughs> whole reason why I started. I was like, oh, Blender's oh, free? It right, is so free, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like OBS. Right, see, when you learn, do mine, all right? <laughs> Dude, I, will, I will make your thumbnails for Practice. a very small fee of $200 per thumbnail. <laughs> oh, <what>? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Open up an OnlyFans for that, man. Bro, Come on, bro. bro. Make thumbnails for us bro. to practice. Oh. I'm gonna just add in here, right? So there's a there's a major part of me that sees these blender thumbnails, and they're just like I'm looking at it, and I'm just like, man, it makes the game look so good. And then you click on the video, and it's RuneScape graphics. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, is it, is, it, is it clickbait because it's it like is clickbait. It's it should falsely be. No, advertising? It's absolutely, absolutely. But, but I, I genuinely think the reason I feel like that is because I'm just too lazy to learn how to use Blender. So right. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take some time and take a look at it. 
Because like mm. I need to, I need to up my thumbnail game. Yeah. Sure. What, what was the learning process like? Just just to do the thumbnails because obviously Blender is like you know infinite possibilities of what you can do and learn. But in terms of just what you did, like you know making uh, making the models position in a way that you want for a thumbnail, right? Like what was, what was like honestly, it wasn't like? it wasn't that hard. Uh, it's mm. it's a little bit weird when you go into a new program at first, just learning the basics, uh, just watching a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to do like one thing. Like in order to like make a character move in a certain position that you want to do, you have to actually rig it and add armatures. Like basically every bone in your body, not all of them, but you know, yeah. arms, forearms, a hand, all that kind of stuff. And then once you get that, you connect it and then you can move it however way you want. It's actually not too hard to get into that. It takes usually, I don't know, less than five minutes to rig something up. You know, once you once you learn the basics, that. right? Yeah, once you get the basics, it's, it's not too hard. And then getting into like. I mean, I haven't really dabbled into um, background stuff like buildings and stuff like that. Grounds. I just kind of like my thumbnails. I just do like my character, the boss, blow it up full screen as much as possible and then just put it out there. Maybe add like a little fog, some nice lighting effects and stuff like that. that and that's nice. about it. I'm still at the basics yeah. in yeah. my opinion. Uh-huh. So, so like your, it, your first like, thumbnail, how long How long did that take from, from like learning it? NFTs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> First thumbnail, uh, thumbnail pro- honestly, probably took hours. And now, yeah. like, I'll, I'll still spend, like, a couple hours on a thumbnail. Uh, but setting it up, like, the hardest part is trying to find a good, mm-hmm. like, um, I don't know, a good position for everything that, you know, something looks good, I guess, instead of just putting the boss in the middle and that's it kind of thing. Yeah, kind yeah, of see, yeah. Like, what looks cool, I guess. Mm, okay, okay. Well, dude, you've done a fantastic job. I'm, like, checking out your thumbnails right now, and they look absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. I was yeah, gonna I'm do on one Twitter for my page. last video with Serb. I'll post it in the chat, but I didn't get to upload it. Um, mm. I, just, I wanted to try. I'm I'm testing analytics out, is what I always do, and I'm testing between Blender um, thumbnails hey, for my, stream, you know series quick. and uh, just regular old school RuneScape kind of thumbnails and seeing what has like what gets more impressions, more uh, click through rates, and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to Dude. test it out, but I I still made that just for fun. If you, you taught a college it. class, I'd go to it, bro. Because that <laughs> sounds like vital mm-hmm. information. Very vital for you to mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. they're really good. Yeah. They're Analytics really good. are awful to look at. I hate it. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. I don't even look at it nowadays right now. Maybe once a week or a month. Okay, so I mean, you, you know, you could say you're one of the, the newer uh you know, newer RuneScape tubers, right? Relative to us, I guess, he- right? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, uh, so, I, mean, I, so, I made videos back in two thousand eight, but in today's like old school RuneScape, yeah, I'm I'm super like still new. Yeah, so like in relation to that, right? Um, shoot, I almost lost my train of thought. Okay, so anyways, yeah, you, you know, you tried a bunch of different things to start off, right? So what were what were yeah. some things to you that really stood out that like you know you're like okay, this works. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it going, right? That that's yeah. built you t- to today's you know channel, right? That people know you for. Honestly, it uh, it goes down to analytics. To be honest with you, I did a whole bunch <laughs> of research of just looking into what everyone else was doing in the scene, uh, which was like two years ago, and people still doing it now. Although you can obviously where the the change and shift and what the content is being popular right now, which is going into you know restricted accounts, tile man stuff. That's yeah, like vegan man most next prediction. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so mm-hmm. next, um, I did a lot of research. I just I looked up. I don't know, a hundred different RuneScape YouTubers. And I was like, okay, what's everyone doing? Okay, they're all on hardcore Iron Man's or Iron Man accounts and they're doing <laughs> things. And I'm just like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to start all over. I don't have the time to do that. Because, uh, you know, I'm still working, you know, That's full me. time and I want to start getting into this. I don't have another three years to set aside just to max an account just to get to where I'm at right now. Like, I don't, I don't have the time. So I still looked into it and I found uh, that people were really interested in clue scrolls, but absolutely no one did it. Um, just a few people and they would always get like tens of thousands or like a hundred thousand views or something like that then i was like why is not every single channel doing this and i started doing clues in game i was like ah that's why okay it takes a long ass time to do uh, and the rewards are basically garbage until you hit something good if you hit something good um luckily one of my videos um i think it's i know it was uploaded in december almost around two years ago it got picked up um, by the YouTube algorithm probably about two to three weeks after I had uploaded it. And I had uploaded uh, two Clue videos before. Nothing special, just standing at a bank, opening up the caskets. And after uploading those, I'm like, okay, I'm doing the same thing that all these other people now who are, you know, opening up Clues. They're just standing at a bank, 
commentating and just, you know, oh, I got a rune longsword. Cool, I guess. Um, and so I was just like, I need to do something different. And that's when I started to time the openings when I open up a casket to the beat or whatever the song is playing in the background. And that basically blew up for me, like, I, you know, a couple weeks after. I think it I think it's got like over 50,000 views. But to me, like at the time when most of my videos were averaging like below 200 views, that was crazy uh, to see. Yeah, that's so I, massive. I just like that's stuck massive. with that. And then in order to make it even better, I uh, kept all my master clues without opening any of them. And then I opened up 500 of them in at like one time. And so yeah, no, that, that, was that drew a lot of attention. And I started to kind of market myself on Twitter, YouTube. I, you know, I'd say it in the videos like, oh, you know, I'm going to open it, you know, this many caskets when I get to 500. And then when it was like weeks before, I would like post um, screenshots of my master casket stack on Reddit things like that and people ate that shit up and then I streamed it and then I got like 3,000 viewers and then from there that's you know kind of when people started to know that I existed basically so why 500 right like you know 100 masters is already pretty pretty crazy right so why did you save a 500 did you think that uh, you really needed to reach that craziness in order to really basically I wanted out. to go go big or go home kind of thing when I looked up master caskets on YouTube the only other channel that had a lot of them done were JMods and they can just spawn those things in. Yeah, so if dead. I did a if I did a hundred, I was like, okay, a hundred is cool. Mm. Five hundred is a little bit better. Let's do that. <laughs> it's not like bit. months to do, uh, but I was just like, yeah, I got to go big, go home. Like a hundred people probably be like, okay, that's kind of cool. I guess I'll tune in. Five hundred, I figured, you know, people would be like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> no, that wasn't actually what the fuck. turn in. You know what I mean? <laughs> or tune in. What, yeah. what was the time estimate, and uh, what is your rank for masters now? Uh. To time estimate and, and doing all the for, clues for all five hundred, yeah. Like to to get them done. Yeah, I to guess, get yeah. them took probably uh, around six or seven months, oh, and that was like uh, alongside like you know working and stuff like that. So basically, yeah. I would log into the game, Respect. clues as much as possible. I mean, I, I work from home, so it helps a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> to be able to start doing <laughs> any of this stuff. Um, and then yeah, it just took forever. But I mean, oh, in terms gosh, of rank, uh, I don't <laughs> even think I'm. I think I, I don't even. I think I'm closing in on top 100, something like that. I know I'm ranked nine in hard clues. Oh um, my god! <laughs> but I forget the exact. What are you keepers? Masters. I don't know. He's the <laughs> next keepers, bro. Straight up. Yeah, I don't know if you know keepers. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, the, yeah. The he's definitely guy. like the guy that like kind of maybe popularized. Like, watch whole... out for uh, Hey yeah. Jace on Twitch. Oh, Jace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jace, uh, Jace does everything. Insane. You know. Yeah, yeah he does. He's everything. doing a. Yeah. He wants to do a leak casket, but obviously pull seventy six stuff, and it's. Taking forever to get out, so he's waiting on the yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll come out, out so soon. much more. He'll come out soon. Well, like what well, rank is Keefers when it comes to clues? Because he was doing it for years. He's probably uh, solid. He for... might be rank two in medium clues now. I think Holy some dude. Geez. I think some dude uh, surpassed him a while. Back. Well, he used to do. He used to do hard clues all the time. You know, for his yeah, third he age. Did, he, did, uh, he did. He did cave hards, didn't he? Cave that's yeah. He did. yeah. Yeah. Literally, that's all he did. But it was, you know. He had the he had the talking oh, keepers, point. Dude. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Bebo, you had a question about masters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, on the on the topic of masters, you said you were doing it for six or seven months. How much of mm -hmm. an itch did you have to actually like start opening them before you got <laughs> five hundred? Because my itch would have been really, really. <laughs> I would have opened it on the first day. <laughs> I, I, I definitely wanted to. Part of the reason why I don't open caskets one after the other because it's like being disappointed every single time. I'd rather mm -hmm. just save up all the disappointment for the end. So it's like, even if I the open them all, like, even if I open them one at a time, I'm just like, okay, I might not even get anything. Even when I stack up, a, you know, 500, it's like, I might not get every, like anything, but at least I can just like not be disappointed the entire time. Just be disappointed one time, if that makes sense. But mm -hmm. honestly, like I did it because I, I wanted to I, like put my foot through the door, you know, in the RuneScape creator space kind of thing. So I was just like, that was a big motivating factor as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it works. It definitely did that. <laughs> it made an impression for sure. It was a lot of fun just opening up a stack of a lot of master caskets all at once, too. Yeah. What What is your total like clue count from? I guess beginner. Uh, I haven't done any beginners to be honest, but total clue count. I think I passed sixteen thousand <laughs> uh, recently. Yeah, the easies oh! and the mediums, right? Yeah, easy, space. mediums, and hards are the main ones that I've done. So I'm guessing you don't pay for membership then. <laughs> no. That's, that's mine. <laughs> no, I haven't paid for membership since 2010. To be <laughs> we got that bulwark money. All right. <laughs> he, you know, he has actually, it's for a completely different reason. 
uh, yeah. why I don't pay for membership. But J- Jagex gave me lifetime membership a while back. Oh, oh yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Give yeah, us the juice. Yeah, that. you Get got a nice deeper. segue there, I suppose. <laughs> Always. But yeah, no. Um, I was um one of the first winners of uh Golden Gnomes RuneFest, like the first year they they held RuneFest. I won the Machinima short story category, and part of the prize was lifetime membership. Nice. Damn, Shut so it's up. on that account, yeah. That's a on snag, bro. That's the one thing they didn't bro. scam us on, you know? <laughs> they actually you delivered. That? Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, so what was the competition and how was it linked to Machinima exactly? It, Back then. Not like the company Machinima, this is just what they called the category, like a short Machinima short story. Oh. Since Machinima, that word was really popular with, you know, content creation. Yeah, I remember on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so it was more, of, more or less just like a short, funny weird short story i still don't know how i won to this day I, it's didn't... literally me chopping two trees the trees talk they're screaming because they're getting chopped down <laughs> one of them like burst into flames and people just ate that up mm. and liked it and voted for me so i was like cool <laughs> yeah, was awesome. yeah the first one fest was so different i feel like i that. recall watching that video <laughs> you might have. I, I feel like i recall yeah. watching it back in the day it's just not like um on the top of my mind right now yeah, yeah. Do, do you know? Yeah, the term of cinema is so nostalgic. Like, it wasn't there like a channel that used to do that, and they yeah. like hire people, hire like risky yeah, they, YouTubers. Yeah, they shut yeah. down several years ago because of. Well, I mean, I was never with them or anything like that, but. Oh, well, well, I was gonna it ask. Was, or were you with them? Yeah. How did you nah. get out? They, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> yeah. It, it was basically machinima. Was um, it was a third party. And yeah. um, it was this was back before like people had monetization yeah. or like n- the major public had monetization. I think there were some channels that were monetized. So it was basically a third party company that was like, hey, we will pay you to upload content, which at the time for all the creators was like, oh my God, I can make money playing games. So everybody did it. Uh, a lot of people didn't actually look into the contracts, which were updated nope. and so forth. <laughs> and they literally locked people in where it was like, your channel belongs to us now. Yeah, it was, it wasn't <laughs> and their they were channel, getting paid like nothing. Yeah. Literally. That's like scary. Happened, like, for like five years plus um yeah some people some older runescapers who are you know a lot of people runescapers turned into minecrafters i don't know if you ever i mean i don't want to yeah, no, say heard anything wrong if he happens to see this ant venom if you guys ever heard of that name yeah I heard he him. was with machinima and he I, i'm pretty sure him and some other people had to get like lawyers involved to get them out of the contract because they were getting heavily screwed over mm. um, yeah but that's I heard. a whole other, that's crazy. Whole other yeah. thing i don't know too much about they were very yeah. popular Back in the early 2010s. I mean, I love my boy C-Nanners and Sark. Oh, the crew. Oh, C-Nanners. Oh, my (laughs) God. I've not heard that in a long time. That's a a nostalgic name. That was my love. And it hurts that they were like the faces of Machinima. And that was such an Mm. evil corporation. It's like being the face of a cigarette company. Yeah, they exploited people, man. Those third-party channels. What do you call those? MCNs or something? They used to call them? I'm not sure. Those type of companies. They they had a, a standard name for them. Evil. I mean, Chris Archie. Chris Archie was part of Machinima. He mm-hmm. he actually had vlogs, and I don't know if they still exist of him in the offices at Machinima. So he was like a partner with them. But I think he managed to either got out of his contract, or it was around the time when his channel just got straight up deleted. I don't know if any yeah. of you guys remember the beef between Spark Mac and Chris Archie. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you if any of you remember that. But heard about it. Chris Archie ended up losing his YouTube channel. Because at that time, and it still is, you're not allowed to speak badly about content creators. So they just straight banned them off the platform. So I, I don't know. It have to, dude. We should get Chris Archie on, man. I know, awesome right? Like, where's so Chris Archie? Like, wasn't his channel like basically like the the modern day behemoth channel? Just highlight. Yeah, yeah. Like he he like was the yeah. original. He was the original yeah, guy. hundred percent. He used to do like top tens too and everything. It was good. Dude, like, he, he did everyone everybody. watched Chris, him. Yeah. Chris, yeah. Ar- dude, Chris Archie was on a different level, man. I remember like his first yeah. videos that he was uploading that like made his channel. He made a new PK video like every couple days, like every three days. He would have like Chris Archie PK video three, four, five, and so on. And it was almost like a, a meme in the PK because <laughs> I was a part of it at the time. Where I was like, oh, another PK video from Chris Archie. And, like it was just, it was insane how much this guy like he was putting so much work in. He he grafted really hard. Yeah. Yeah. I've met Archie a couple times at um mm. Twitch cons. I don't I don't know if he likes me or not, but I would really enjoy to have him come on. Yeah, yeah like I, I I've that'd be great. I, I, so I, I know he still works for Jags because um so this is from R three, right? So like a few months ago they released the God Wars three, right? 
and then uh which meant that you know you got to do promotions and stuff like that right and um i remember they were making a music for like one of the bosses in god wars dungeon 3 which is the sug boss and like in the in the in the music like there's people like like kind of like they're saying some gibberish right like but it's like really like you know cool right it like it, it like adds to atmosphere and they add and, and so they showed a video of like them getting jmods to like say it and then you know they can do like the editing right to edit the voice and chris archie i saw him was it one in one of those like he was recording his voice right with a bunch of jmods so like we know he's still there <laughs> for sure <laughs> But yeah, I just don't know where else he's at. So we can. Yeah, you know, I will say it. the silver lining of Machinima was yeah. like it was the golden era of gaming because in that company, even though it was really messed up, all those OG games interlined, and that kind of bred the content that we enjoyed. And yeah, led to the dark days of of YouTube. So maybe we need an evil corporation to hoard up all the gamers so we can get some really good content and just take all their money. Because I miss I miss the Machinima videos. <laughs> Even I don't think we. Horrible. I don't think we should go back to that. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do we bring yeah, it yeah. back, bro? You're gonna, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna, gonna be broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, more positive. Maybe a better way, a better cult. You know? Not a better cult. Dude, that, that, that's, this is like a little bit off. It's on that topic, but like, I don't know if any of you boys, you all have YouTube. There was a point in time when you could partner with third party like companies, yep. and it would be like, oh, we're here to protect you, and they took 10% of your earnings and and all of that. Bro, like, I remember the the only reason I went with them when I first started doing YouTube was because I was was a bit naive, and I was like, they're going to protect me if anything goes wrong, if I get a copyright strike. Nope. Just straight up, got a copyright strike, tried to contact someone there, and they were just like, oh, yeah, we can't help you with that. And I was like, <laughs> "Why am I giving you ten percent of my revenue? They, they this literally is the only reason I'm here. You. They do nothing. They do nothing. Literally. Just you. like you, you just agree to give them a portion of your money, and that's what they do. Nothing else. Yeah. And then you get access. You get access to their free, uh, copyright free library, which is literally on YouTube, anyways. Like yep. it just doesn't I, make sense yeah, at right, all. You, it's basically question. a scam. Yeah, I, most of them. I was a part of that, and then now I'm not. But I have a lot of those songs. <laughs> if I use those songs, what happens to me, dude? I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't uh, trust it, dude. I wouldn't even try. I'm I mean, scared. I like the songs, but I'm scared to use them. They just sit in a folder now. Just cool songs it, I can't use. Yeah, yeah. Just, just get like those, uh, like epidemic sound subscriptions or whatever. You know? Yeah, that's what I use. I just use old game music, bro. I love it. I but, mean, uh, in-game RuneScape music is always free. And uh, people love it. People eat speaking, up. Speaking of RuneScape music and uh, just RuneScape in general, back to drum. And I enjoyed the way you talked about the YouTube analytics. It seems like you're a real master at your craft and how you built your channel. So if you're trying to build again from scratch, how would you get your first 1,000 subs in RuneScape? Oh, that's tough. <laughs> the, the easiest way to do it is kind of just following the trend. So if I were to do it right now uh, and I really want like I didn't want to start all over, you know, with my main account or if I wanted to or whatever reason, the easiest way is to create, uh, you know, a tile man, (laughs) make better Uh, uh, thumbnails for one or not better thumbnails, but just make them that'll, you know, stand up apart. You just follow the trend, to be honest. That's the it's not a surefire way, but it's an easier way to actually do that. Yeah, it may work for some people may not work for a lot more. You just got to hit the analytics uh, or not analytics. You got to hit the algorithm just right. And you could, <clears> you know, pick up on that. I mean, it, instantly when Settle did it, you you guys are probably seeing a lot of, uh, you know. Yeah, there's. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, it works. It works. You yeah, know, it, works. it works. Like there, you could you could see I won't name names like they're respect you know, the hustle for it. You know yeah. what I mean? Respect. Yeah. The hustle. <laughs> um, you could see like their their channels. You could see them like right before Settle started his series and they started doing Tile Man series. Their videos were like. You know, still twenty thousand views average. That's awesome, right? Uh, and then they started doing Tile Man, and they're at eighty, a hundred thousand views per video. And it's like, all right, so mm-hmm. it, it works for it. Could work for some people. Okay, so yeah. I started my channel. I don't know. What we named it. I'm doing Tile Man. All right, episode one. <laughs> yeah, PK where edition. <laughs> where do I start? Now? All right, lead my channel here. All right. Oh God. I mean, here's, I do well the, here's the question, right? It's like, do you guys think that there's anything wrong with that? I mean, like, and this this goes out to people in the comment section listening as well. Like, when somebody comes up with a new idea, and I'm not necessarily saying that Settled was the person who came up with Tile Man, but when somebody comes up with an original concept, and then a bunch of people jump on the bandwagon and do the same thing, like, 
do you guys think that that's right, wrong, or do you just like how do you guys feel about that? I don't think Me, there's a yes, right or no. wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's it it's good in a in a sense that you know maybe it gives someone motivation to get into you you know making videos. You know, motivation is always good. If it's a direct copycat, like you're starting the exact same tile that he is, you're going the same way. You're watching his videos first, and we can see that you're just copying someone, and you don't have like your own original spin or idea off of it. Um, then kind of gets like a little bit gray for me personally. Uh, but it's not a bad thing, you know. I get motivation from other YouTubers all the time, uh, but then I have to make it fun for me to do personally in order to to do it instead of just straight up copying someone, you know, tile by tile, so mm. to speak. But you know, yeah, it, yeah, go for it if you want to make tile man. Hundred percent. There's people that are doing it, but they start in different areas. They have different directions, different goals, and you know, there, there's different ways to go about it instead of just straight, you know, hundred yeah. percent carbon copy kind of thing. Yeah, no, I, okay. I completely agree, man, because it's a good question. But how I see it is there's a lot more positives than negatives. And anytime mm -hmm. I try to get an idea or inspiration, I, you know, I go, okay, this is where I got it. Or I'll link a video and say, hey, this is where the inspiration came from. But if it's something like Tile Man, then yeah, sure. I think everyone knows it came from, from Settled. But think back when the videos were back, I don't know, 2008. We had PVP vids, copyrighted music. There were no Iron Man episodes. There were no series. So if these people don't copy others and build onto it, then we're not really creating anything, right? And we wouldn't have yeah. any of any of this content to start with. So it's yeah. it's really just building onto the community, even though it does look like copying, because then you know it springs offsprings of other content. And next thing you know, you got Kemp Q, no, not Kemp Q, um, ah, Karumja Man Burf, right? Now mm. he made the uh, original Ultimate Iron Man series, right? Um, Look, well, he was, he, he, was he made one of the first kind of like area locks, right? Yeah, area locks. Yeah, yeah he, and then he Settled made... was born from that, right? Or, or vice versa. Either way, the, the content is now, uh, we see it today, is just huge. And it just started from a man locked on an island, right? And now RuneScape's blowing up out of Tile Man. It all just builds onto each other. Who knows? Maybe there's going to be Tree Man soon. And that's going to be huge. I don't know. Yeah. It could be well, yeah, I, I mean, the, the whole concept of copying and stuff is more, it, it's, it's, it's one of those, like, you know what I mean? It's not like a, there's no r truthness to it in, in a way, because, like, everything is, in, is in a way copied from something else, right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. rather, we just yeah. take inspiration, right? That's probably a better word. Like, where you take inspiration to do whatever it is that you do, because that's usually how, how everything, all these ideas come from, right? They're... They're not necessarily copies. They're more like inspirations, right? As long as it's not a copy, is literally yeah. if you make the same shit in the exact same way. But we're more, more of an. Inspiration. I mean, I I would. This is yeah. the thing, right? I would I would argue that, like, right. So let's say settled. I don't believe he was the first person to come up with Tall Man, but he was certainly the first person to do it in a way where people cared and like you know garnered a big audience. Um, it, it's kind of like if somebody is gonna then just do a Tall Man. It's exactly the same concept, but I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a case of, like, I think it's a, a case of who did it better. You know what I mean? Like, that that's just the bottom line. You can roll with somebody's concepts, just put your own twist on it, and I don't see anything wrong with that whatsoever. But like, it, it's an interesting thing, because, like, if you guys remember the PvP Hardcore Iron Man uh, the C Engineer did, nobody did that until he did it and then when he died he basically announced saying hey if any of you guys do want to do this you're welcome to and then like everybody did it um so it's kind of interesting to see that this hasn't happened with the tile man and people have just jumped on it but yeah i don't i don't think there's anything inherently wrong yeah i don't really think you need permission to do something similar right because like it's not like you oh, own yeah. the game yeah. right you don't really own the game but i think it's more like Obviously, you know, it's more about personal, like how you see it personally, right? Like you, for me, I don't like to, I don't even like to take necessary inspiration from, from others concepts. Like I kind of like prefer to just do my own thing, but, but like, you know, if you were in that situation where you want to do something where someone else did, did a concept and you want to use it. Yeah. I probably feel like I want to credit them somewhere in the video or whatever, you know, that kind of idea, right? It's more of like a moral thing, I guess you're just getting, you know, like, is it inspiration or are you just kind of like stealing? But like, you know, I, I just say, don't worry too much about that. It's just, it's, it's an inspiration thing, you know? Like, it's okay to use, yeah. take inspiration from others. Yeah. That's that's just how it, it always is, you know? 
if, if this cycle didn't happen, I don't think RuneScape so. would actually be around. Because if you like, if you think about it, it'd be um, more narcissistic, you know, to not do it this RuneScape way. RuneScape yeah. was um, built upon like how we're built now. We were a fan game that came back. All right, this is wasn't in the works back in this. This is a remade server, right? And uh, it was community built. The community literally built this game and then the content within it. And then it's copies of the content, but that's the community just literally providing content advertising for RuneScape. It's not RuneScape Facebook ads that they're playing with these animations. They kind of look nice. But people aren't clicking on those, dude. They're clicking on Tile Man, Varrock, you know, or Wild Man, or I, I don't know, dude. But it's, it's growing the community, <laughs> right? And it's getting our name out. And that's kind of I was talking about the machinima days when all those creators and different games were coming together and making content. That was the golden day of content. And it, it, their paychecks got ripped, but because they were there, they were able to make incredible videos that I still remember to this day. You know, and, and it was probably variations of other shit that we've seen. And sadly, uh, that's just kind of how humans do it, man. We copy, make it a little bit better, and go, hey, it's mine. Please watch. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Like, yeah, I, I, I think that's just kind of like, you know, it's one of those worldly concepts, right? Not just a RuneScape YouTube exclusive, right? <laughs> For sure. No, but I, but like, yeah, there, there's some moral questions. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, I think like as, as a YouTube viewer, I think uh, if someone's like making something like a Tile Man or, you know, Karumja Man, whatever it is, uh, people then have that video fresh in their mind when they're going and looking at a similar t- sort of, Iron Man, you know, going from Karamja to Tile Man, now their mind is fresh on that specific topic, and they're going to be interested in anyone else making other sort of uh, derivatives of that. Derivatives. Yeah, 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 derivatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's a good word for that. No, I... I, but, um, I yeah, you go on. I, I just want to say, it's like, that's, I just see it like a, I don't know, like a growth, you know? That's how everything's built, is just derivatives of other content. Like I said, we started at PKing, right? That was the original content I, I and maybe guides, right? And then Press guides. then the community, <laughs> yeah, just built from there, bro. And then bank videos. It's like, how would you get what, that? What about bank? those and RuneScape like, oh, music videos? Those RuneScape music videos, the music dude. Videos, the yeah, definitely. Those, the only reason those are dead is because copyright exists. Yeah, that's yeah, the only reason. Literally, yeah, literally. Those yeah, would be banging. Yes. They'd be on TikTok. Maybe they. I, I don't use it. Maybe they are. But derivative content that just that's just how you grow a community. And it seems like RuneScape, our community, really wants to grow and we need someone like settled even though if it's not his idea to, to blow up certain content and get people excited about it yeah um, everybody oh, yeah. everybody pitching in you know you for sure said, uh, runescape music videos on tiktok i think you might be on to something <laughs> 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 oh, start. but you know speaking of growing, growing the community though i have a lot of people always asking me i wish i could be a runescape kind of creator and i just feel like drum have it on the podcast. It's the perfect time to, to give out these tips, dude. So you're saying but someone just told me that, or not told me, but asked me that on 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 my stream the other day. It's like I want to get into it. What should I do? And the first thing I told him was like, just start. Because <laughs> I've I've known so many people, like friends. And they might not be Runescapers, but they just want to play, yeah, you know, like play games, stream, make yeah. videos, or whatever it is. And they'll be sitting on just the idea of starting for weeks, months, or years at a time, just trying to come up with ideas, trying to think of things but they just they they overthink so if like if anyone the best i don't know the best piece of advice i could give if anyone wants to start making videos is just start because the longer Mm -hmm. you wait that's you know the longer you're not making videos the longer that your content's not out there for people to find things like that because i don't know find find something that you like to do and it'll it'll go far so yeah yeah, the first videos are always gonna be not the best as forever basically that's how it is I think I think something quite important to add on to that is um firstly like the first thousand subs is by far the hardest and you're gonna work your ass off for that and then it's kind of like a snowball right but try not to burn out to like before your first 1k because I, I feel like a lot of people burn out before they reach their 1k like uh my advice would just be try many different concepts different ideas like before my channel like sort of took off in any way shape or form i'd probably done about 10 different kind of completely different videos like different series money based time based and so forth and you just gotta get a load of content out there make it different and then just go back and look and be like okay this worked this doesn't and doesn't 
This didn't. <laughs> and just try and pick the things, the things that did. You know. Yo, fun it's fact. Definitely not easy. Fun fact, you know, I remember my first few videos. I made some guides. I did some like uh, loot from Damn. X amount of kills. I mean, they they did some good stuff. They did some numbers, honestly. Like I literally did a random video where I just sold a bunch of stuff when GE first released. That got that got so many views, even though the editing was crap. I was recording things out of out of like order, whatever. You know, it's just like you know, you just do a few things, but. But like, okay, you know, this, this, this goes into something, uh, I think, kind of, in a way, philosophical, right? Because, you know, a lot of people will be like, all right, so is this your job or is this like a hobby, right? Like, how do you separate the two? Like, are you having fun because you're, you're still enjoying the game? Or are you having fun because of other reasons due to the way that you, you're working, right? Like, you, get, you, you know what I mean? People ask, people always assume or find it fascinating, uh, like the idea of like, you know, doing it as a job and stuff. but but let's demystify a bit, right? And I think, Drum, you're a perfect example because, you know, you, you, you are a man of wisdom now, right? You are, uh, like, 30, at least, right? 30 or so? I wish right? I, I was 30. Damn, oh, okay, you know, a bit, a bit older. What kind right? of segue was <laughs> there, yeah. No, because, like, be, because think about it, right? You know, Drum's, uh, he's done, he's Not, done uh, formal 32 work. 32 if you're, you're 32, right. okay. So, Dun's, uh, yeah, Drum's yeah. done a lot of, like, normal, normal work. And and he kind of like transitioned out of that into trying out this kind you know this kind of work right so like so like well you you have good uh you know good perspectives on both sides right like like so I guess the question would be like when you when you were doing your normal work what made you decide you wanted to transition into a different kind of work and that like this kind of work and and when you got into it did you expect it to work out or were you just gonna like gamble on it and then if it didn't work after a certain time you would go back. To kind of like normal 100 percent gamble um but yeah, i mean even details. now i still don't you know things can happen or things can not happen like i still don't i mean i'm not a content creator full time uh because i you know i definitely don't make you know that much money from both youtube and twitch to you know make it a full-time thing so i you know i still do you know my work on the side at the same time as playing but yeah i started because like i mean i was playing rootscape anyway as as a hobby and i've been making videos like on my own like I didn't go yeah. to school for editing or anything, anything like that. But I just picked it up just because I just thought it was fun. Like editing was like the hobby portion, and you know the games were just like you know something fun to do in my free time. And so I just combined the two, and just over year, oh, you know, over all the years, just try to you know built it up and just trying to learn uh, a new skill set. So that way, if I learn something from this hobby, that can also transition into some sort of uh, you know potential like career in the future or just work in general for like video editing and stuff like that. Because uh, there's there, there's like multiple sides of it too, but like at, yeah, started making YouTube videos and starting streaming. Um, I I started streaming first, and I think I streamed for like a year, never really getting over like five average viewers. You know, one of them being me, two of them being my friends, one of them being my girlfriend, and then uh. that one extra person that may may have found me. And I was like, okay, this isn't you know, I'm having fun doing it, but isn't it isn't working? And I really wanted to try to make it a thing, and I'm still trying to make it a thing because you know. I mean, content creation would be just like a fun job to do if it happens. Um, but uh, I started making the YouTube videos because I was already doing it anyways. Uh, last job that I had, I was tech, like, this is like real like world kind of job or whatever. I was doing customer service uh, for, I don't know, four or five years. And then at the, the company that I was working with, um, I had a friend who plays games and he was in the creative department who made videos and all that kind of stuff. And then I showed him some of my videos that I I did on YouTube before RuneScape um, on a different channel. And I used to do variety kind of gaming on my current channel. And then I s transitioned over to RuneScape. All those videos are now private, by the way, so no one can look them up <laughs> uh, for multiple different reasons. Um, no, nah, it's just like random games, you know, like Minecraft, like uh, story okay. games, RPGs, FPS, all that, all that, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I showed him all those videos and then, you know, talked to him about editing. And then he got me to start working on stuff for that company at the same time. And so I just kind of like built my, I guess, skill set, so to speak, of uh, editing videos. And then I started um, editing that kind of stuff. And if you guys ever been to like, like just as an example, like some of the, the work that I, I do uh, will be displayed like in movie theaters, like for commercials and stuff like that, that, you know, I'll edit that, you know, film companies will send out to different studios or freelancers and stuff like that. Like here's an interview that we did with this famous person, edit this, throw it up and it'll, play and all this other kind of stuff but then also just a lot of advertisement work that you know for different companies as well i won't say like i don't want to say like company names and things like that but um i don't know it's just 
the the whole process going back into the like the question kind of diverted there for a moment but um I, I don't know it's just it was just a hobby just like a gamble i wanted to to take to try and make this into a thing which i'm still trying to work on but it's just it's fun i just, i just find it you know a lot of fun and would like to get into it if i can yeah, i see i see you know. yeah it makes more I mean, sense i could totally go more into it but i don't want to that that's a whole no, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with that, you know, because yeah, I feel like it. that's a different, yeah. that's a unique topic we haven't had in a while or ever, you know, so. Yeah, just explain the topic and, and, and dive on deep, bro. Yeah, doing? yeah, I think it's a good time. <laughs> it's all about you, you know, this podcast. Is about yeah, you I mean, if you have like, yeah, like further <laughs> questions, that's cool. But that, that's just the gist of it. It was just, yeah, well, at the beginning, I figured, you know, if I don't try, I won't know. And yeah. if, it, if it doesn't happen, at least I can say I tried. You know, yeah. I, I feel that because right after high school, I had no idea what I, what I wanted to do. And I always thought it'd be so easy to get a job mm. and pay the rent. And I realized this, you're not you're not going like anywhere if you just want like a standard based job and you want to start saving up. And all of a sudden you got to think five years, 10 years down the line. And it kind of locks you in this mindset of start now so you can end somewhere. Maybe that's safe. And then I started making RuneScape videos and creating a community. And I realized maybe you can manifest your own destiny, even if you're absolutely terrified, man. And maybe that terrifying thing isn't really a gamble. It just keeps people from actually succeeding. Mm -hmm. right? They're just too scared to start. But if you start something, you back it up. I mean, it's not, it's not rocket science. We, are, we live in 2022. You can Google anything. Learn about it very deeply. What's stopping anyone, right? Probably that mindset. So yeah, I feel like it's a gamble, but less of a gamble, more of like, you know, you you have a, you might you might fail, but mainly, if you if you don't land where you want to be, you're going to land somewhere that's much better off if you would have just went down the regular path. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not even yeah. it's not bad to fail either, because then that's when you no, learn, learn, learn from mm -hmm. from that kind yeah. of yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Mm. I think um I think it's a really good point. And it's like I remember when I was in college, I remember my tutor was telling me the most important thing is to do something. He literally put it like this. He said, It doesn't matter what you do, if you do something, you will soon realize whether or not you're on the right path or not. It's like if you're if you're halfway through taking like a new subject or whatever, and then you notice like, oh, that person's doing something else that sounds really appealing, I'm gonna do that instead that's a way better way of being than just being like stagnant and just, I don't know what I want to do or, you know, it, you just got to take a risk every now and then you got to take a chance and, you know, just see where it takes you. For sure. Yeah. Ever, yeah. Ever since I started making it with um, um, YouTube and Twitch, I swear I've started gambling on myself more and more. And, and when people come to me and say, Oh, what you're doing this and that, that's, that's, aren't you a little scared? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not scared anymore. Usually, like if I do fail, I've I've set myself up now, right? Mm -hmm. But um, if, if you have nothing going on and you're just trying to make it through life, and you and you have something that may may spark your interest, maybe even just making RuneScape videos, dude. You know, look at Drum, right? He he mastered his craft. It took a lot of work, but it's doable, right? Try it. Maybe you don't spend all your time on it, but it doesn't hurt to try. You know. Doesn't hurt yeah. to try at all, and never never Matt, worry about the first video you, that you make. You get better each time. Yeah, and even when you make a thousand videos, your next video after that is going to be better than that one. Yeah, it is. You kind of learn like so. There's three things you need to know about making videos before you start. One, upload something you would watch, because then when you watch mm -hmm. your video and you get bored, yeah, you, you want to be able to guys. smile or laugh when you're like <laughs> editing it. You're like, yo, I sound like a clown, and you're like, huh, you know, it's funny, but like, you know, <laughs> yeah. you need to get that vibe going. The editing is the fun part. I'm editing a video right now, and I'm just like. I found a song like two days ago that I really want to make um, into a thing for yeah, my yeah. next Master Clue opening kind of thing. Like a montage and, uh, I've collage. Listen I've listened to that song like at least a hundred times or so since <laughs> yesterday. Or more. Uh, yeah, basically. Like, <laughs> I, I probably like watch my videos like a hundred times before they're even uploaded. And, you know, yeah. So, yeah, definitely got to enjoy what you're, what you're doing, what you're putting yeah. out. Because if you don't enjoy it, people will can tell. They'll, they'll they'll notice if you're not enjoying something. Real yeah, because people be like, "How do you make videos? You what do you do?" I was like, "You know, one, enjoy what you're making for sure. You can rewatch it with a smile. Um, two thumbnails, right? And I want to 
pressing deeper because obviously you're you're a very good at thumbnails. And then three would be how to format your video, right? You don't want to just pop open your hypercam. Hey guys, you don't want to do that, right? You want to be semi prepared to where if someone came to watch your video, they wouldn't instantly x out. So drum, you said you were editing. Uh, do you have any tips on how uh, to format a video for beginners, like a RuneScape? Uh, uh, I mean, honestly, kind of like writing down a script. I don't really write like a script. I'll have like bullet Mental points. Script, I'll right? even open up like a notepad or something like that. Um, or hell, sometimes I'll just throw in ideas in the rune light notepad thing section. And I'll just kind of go through that. Um, but if you have an idea, just work with it and then see what you can, you know, get from that. And I guarantee you, like when I have one idea and I start trying to work on it, it'll split into like five different separate ideas. And then those will split into different ideas. And I try every single one of them until I, I end up on one and I like it and I go for it mm-hmm. kind of thing. Uh, but I mean, it's not too hard if, you know, most, most people can get ideas, start like a little, a little, you know, like a tree kind of thing. Oh, if brain that makes, tree. I uh, yeah, I forgot what the exact word for it is, brain but tank, you know, you have one idea tree. and you just split it off and you just, it makes, an, it make it looks like a tree in the, at the end of the day, but it's just. All yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Brainstorm. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Brain, oh, yeah, brainstorm stuff like that. Yeah, brain, bro. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Brain tumor. No, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'll get an idea and I'll sit on the idea and I'll start making something. Like I can show you what I got right now, but I mean that's a whole different thing. Mm. Um, yeah, I have a really weird creative process, I suppose. And everybody oh. needs one, I think. Right. Yeah. Everybody needs their method to their own madness, right? Yeah. What I the main thing I do is like, especially like for my clue videos, at least. Uh, since I like to match things with the music, I'll look for a song on Epidemic Sound. That's the site that I use. And I'll listen to a song. And I'm like, oh, this sounds badass. And then I start seeing the video in my head. And I'll write down what I see in my head for the exact second or, you know, starting time, in time for what I see. I'll write that down and I'll start recording in game and throw it into, you know, into the video to see if it works or not. Um, yeah, I used yeah. to I used to do that a lot as well. Minus the writing for... um. PK videos, <laughs> like if, if, dude, the thing I know is, dude, I don't write so many at all, people, <laughs> dude, I know so many people have to like write, write shit. <laughs> people, people like write shit down. I, I've never done that because my handwriting's so fucking bad. I'll never be able to read it. I type. So like, if I'm gonna write, I'm gonna type something <laughs> in my phone or on my computer. And it, dude, I, I've done that before. But yeah, I, I totally understand what you're saying there. I remember listening to songs and like hearing the beat. And then just imagining, and I still do it to this day, like just seeing like a fucking sick AGS G Mall combo or something like that in my brain. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm just like, this song would absolutely slap in a PK video. And then I'm just like, I can never use it. And that's why I want to get yeah. copyright strikes. I, yeah, and it just makes so me hard. sad. And I'm just <laughs> like, why does it have to be like this? I know. It is sad. I, f- I feel it. it took me a couple hundred videos to even realize there was such thing as video format i'm talking it was disgusting i would just put <laughs> clips in i'd start talking describe nothing so mm. if you even have a video <laughs> format and you're on your first vid you are so far ahead of me man okay. yeah well yeah, it's come a long way yo i feel like the the whole wisdom of editing right has has really become more um you know standardized nowadays for sure yeah now people realize there's a concept of a video maker Right, a, a view maker on on any random like you know like on YouTube, right? Like people recognize that as like a thing now. So then there's like guides and all that, and mm-hmm. like the I I don't know like the whole religion. There's like a religion around it now, you know, in a way, right? It's like the the, the gospels of the ideas of editing and stuff. But it's kind of cool though, you know, because like I remember when I started, uh, I I didn't I kind of had formatting already. I don't know how, but I think it's because I've seen all these other people built in. I think it's because I've seen, like, how did I make my videos at first, right? It's like, it's like, oh, I watched this type of video. Oh, I like that idea. I'm going to, you know, go with it. So I kind of, like, copied that format already, right, in a way. And and, and then I just went with it. But, but yeah, no, you brought, you, yeah, you brought up, yeah, you brought that's what I'm saying, like, inspiration, copying, right? Like, they're the same shit. No, like, trust all me, time, for right? sure. Yeah, so, no, but, like, you know, the whole idea of writing, uh, writing things down or typing things down, like, honestly, I didn't do any of that for a long time. But but honestly, I, I started doing it like two years ago, um, you know, like write an intro or something kind of like just to convey a story in a video. Like it's just a mini story right within like the whole mm-hmm. sea of videos right? that I put out. But like it gives you a better idea. It gives, gives people a better idea. It ca- mm-hmm. kind of keeps people focused and, and it gives you a natural formatting for the video. 
without you really be like, all right, so this part, you know, first part is going to be this segment. You, know, you don't really, you know, you don't have to do it like that. You just, once you start writing it down, you kind of create a narrative that makes the, the story and the video flow. It's like, you it don't want to, with time yeah, as well. Yeah. You don't want to make it, it, you don't want to make it like format in the sense that like people will know it's a format. You want to make it just naturally like a, mm-hmm. like a format without people thinking like, oh, it's uh, it's like a stop set one, step two, you know, like, you know, like that rough, that rough. Yeah, you want to keep them <laughs> guessing basically instead of predicting what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. You want to give it a nice flow. Yeah, for sure. It's like a little story. Yeah, for sure. I think that's Dude, evolved you know, a lot. I, I, I don't even know if my videos have a format, man. I've just done it for so long now. They just kind of <laughs> become kind of a just, thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're like Rick C. Yeah, Rick C. Style is more of a, a here's the title, so you're going to get what you get, you know? Like that. Like, Rick C. is more of like, here's the title of my series, and this is what you're getting, you know? Yeah. Which is the, his no. style, you know? It's, that's his style. It, it's certainly, it definitely <laughs> is for right now. No, no it it's is, not a rose. It it's not right a rose right because it works, you know? Like, like it just yeah. different strengths and weaknesses, right? There's pros and cons to it all, for sure. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So, so some, I, yeah. some like incredibly easy tips to kind of help yourself build a format. You know, just on that for just the last thing I'll say is that um, first, when you watch your video, make sure you know what the hell you're doing, right? If you're if you're like, oh yeah, this is the part, and you're like, no, 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 no. Make sure you're guiding yourself through your own video, okay? Because in your head, it could look good. But then all of a sudden you just got this random blank spot and then you're just talking. <laughs> no, yeah. just make sure it flows. Okay. Man, I and- struggled with that so much in my earlier videos. I just, I'll talk and then I'll ramble. And I didn't realize it until later on, until I started looking into the analytics. Cause after two days of uploading a video on YouTube, you can basically see a, a line graph. The real deal. When people, yeah. Like, yeah. When people are, you know, when they first click on the video, when they drop off, how long they're watching for. And so I'll look at those moments where I'm just like, the, the, you know, like let's say 60% of people are watching and then something happens in the video and now 30% of people are watching and then 30 seconds later it goes back up to 60%. It's like, what the hell happened the here? Sponsor. And I'll look back and I'm like, what, what the fuck am I even talking about? No wonder people skip this part. It's boring yeah. as shit. And you just learn over time and I've gotten to the point where, you know, it's like a zigzag and now everything is kind of just like leveled for the most part. Yeah, you so start going between like 30... 35% people are watching throughout the whole thing. And now I'm getting close to about 60, 62% of people watching the videos. You're it's always going to be like that. You're never going to get a hundred percent people watching through the whole thing. It's, nah, it's with basically YouTube attention span does not allow that. Yep. You know? Especially like, Oh, one thing, one tip too. never let people know when a video is going to end or when it's over. <laughs> yeah. Everyone. You gotta keep them guessing. No one starts caring. Yeah. Like the whole yeah. idea of an like, outro. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, the the the, the, the whole idea of an outro and stuff like I kind of I kind of did away with that, you know? Like it's just I feel like it's just pointless having those. Maybe once in a long while you really want to say something that has really little to do with the video like it cool, you know, whatever, right? You mm-hmm. say your piece, but like do it every video, it's like so predictable. You're going to skip that shit do, all the do time. Do you think Yep. Do you think that that drop off at the end with an outro negatively affects the performance of the video? Yes. Audience so it does. Tom, yeah, lately huge. I've yeah. been making my videos about 11 minutes with no outro, uh-huh. and they've been doing way better. And the sad yeah. part is, I was putting so much more effort into like my videos with the outro. <laughs> and at this point, yeah. I'm not going to fight the YouTube guys. I'm just yeah. going to put them down and let them yep. have me. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole retention yeah. thing is crazy. They they really focusing on that nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Like the the video, like going back to like the thumbnails and titles and stuff like that. Like the video is obviously important, right? But if you don't get people to click on the video, then you know there there goes all your effort, kind of like wasted in a sense. And like like you have to nail people with the thumbnail and then the title because it's what yeah, draws people yeah. into first impression. That, is op. Yeah, the CTR uh, for you know in the analytics, you want that as high as possible. I think the the highest I've been able to get was like twenty something percent. Uh, one time but i mean it's always going to drop off over time as well yeah. so especially when youtube starts recommending it to more people out there then there's it's going to start recommending it to people who don't even know anything about runescape so obviously they're going to see it be like what the hell is that and just scroll past it so it's so it's always that that first initial like kind of like upload within the first few hours it's really like the the kicker from what i've noticed it's not like the end all be all sometimes you like i said i upload a video and a month later it blew up kind of thing second wind um, i like, call that the second yeah. wind effect <laughs> Yeah, basically one of those. <laughs> yeah, <J-Mark>. but <laughs> yeah. there'd be a lot of wind. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's why I started learning Blender and all that kind of stuff because I was just like, I'm, I'm still bad 
in my opinion, at like coming up with titles. Thumbnails, I've gotten, I even, I, I'd say like I've gotten a little bit better on, uh, but that's why I started putting more effort into like learning about, you know, titles and thumbnails and keywords. And, you know, there there's clickbait in there for the titles, but you can be honest about the clickbait at least and not just, you know, lie like bad mm. clickbait is what I like to call it. Like bad clickbait is like, I don't know, let's say, um, I don't know, I made 5 billion gold in this episode, but you only made 1 billion. You know, that's a, that's a bad clickbait kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, like in my eyes. Titles should be clickbait, but but there's the, mm-hmm. the clickbait that when you click on it, you're like, you're oh wow, okay, I'm getting what I'm getting. Right. And then there's like the one that's like, all right, it's not this is not true at all. See, see that's the yeah. thing. If you in click on a video different. and you're getting what you're getting, that isn't clickbait. That's just a good that's just a good title. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, right. I mean like it's you know like I just call it, I just call it clickbait all the way. I, 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 <laughs> I know, but I, I feel like there's a huge misconception where people are like, oh, it's clickbait. Because the title made me click through, but it is exactly what it said. That's not clickbait. That's yeah, see, good see the yeah, reason yeah. the reason why I call that's it clickbait. The yeah, the reason why I call it clickbait is because there's a lot of people that will argue with you about whether or not your title is clickbait or not. So I say fuck it, it's all clickbait. But my clickbait is good clickbait. Whereas there's clickbait yeah. where you know grandma falls down the stairs, but she ain't. She's just sitting in their chair in the video, yeah. right? Like you know what I mean? Like so you know, like, like, like you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Can you needed. show me uh, your uh, Google nowadays. history search, bro? Like no, dude. I, I just use that as an example, <laughs> right? Because, like, you know, in the hood or like, I'm grandpa, you know, you know, life of water, <laughs> or whatever, you know, parentheses. Your just... favorite song, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer, bro? What no. So wow, that, that'd be a funny song, man, really. But... No, it is a song. It is. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know what? I'm not going to fight with people that's like, oh, rich clickbait. I'm like, hey, look, it's getting views. And the and the like this like ratio is clean, so I did my job. All right, I rest my mm-hmm. case. Right, you there, got what I'm saying? There's always going to be that person. Those so so people. I don't really, I don't really try to fight the whole you know the meaning of the word or whatever you know because like it's so blurred for so many people. You can call them dumb or whatever if they don't agree with you on on what is clickbait or not. But like it don't really matter. It's, it's like you know if it if, like in your heart that this title reflects what you put in the video and it works. You see the numbers and the ratios. You, you know you did it. You know you. Yeah. Off, all right, right. So let me. I, yeah. I want to. All right. So is this clickbait? And I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but I saw. I've seen this a couple times. Episode uh, one, Iron Man, and it's like road to something, and they put the item on the thumbnail like they got it, <laughs> but they start at fucking Tutorial <laughs> Island. Oh, and that's their goal. yeah. Is no, that personally, yeah. I think I'd that's say, bad. Yeah. I think that's kind of bad clickbait. I, I think that's bad clickbait. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just cal- classify clickbait. it as yeah. bad clickbait and then honest clickbait. Is, yeah, is like, yeah, yeah. I just always try to be on the honest clickbait. Yeah, I wanna, yeah been, exactly. That's a good way to yeah, put it. Honest clickbait. Like, there's been times where I've kind of like over exaggerated, uh, like a, a, a smidge. Like, let's say, like one of my recent videos, I put like I made one bill in like 50 hours. Um, but I, I mean, the prices went down, but like the next items recently crashed severely. Um, yeah. Before I made the thumbnail, it was uh, so honest. 840 something, <clears throat> you know, mil. But I put it to a bill. I was like, okay, you know, 60 mil, that's not too far off, right? It's a little bit of clickbait, but I made a shit ton of money in that amount of time. So it's like, it's okay. Yeah, I, I feel. That's not but then the items crash, and I had the yeah. I updated the thumbnail, and it's uh, down to 800 mil. I was like, oh, well, you know, I can't do nothing about that. It was true at the time. It's a little bit less so now, but it's it, fine. It no, I mean, worked, even even know? if it was off by 50 mil, it's fine, or 100 mil, it's yeah. fine because it's like it's already so much. Inflation, bro. All it's right. already so that's much like, at that I can't point. Do nothing about that. Level at the time of recording this, I made this much. Inflation hits thumbnails, man. It yeah, hits yeah, thumbnails. honestly. Yeah. honestly. Oh, bro. Some but thumbnails don't age even, well, you know? Yeah. But it's okay. It the fact the time. that you even updated it is just like, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't have to. You didn't have to. But I was like, nah, I'll leave the title because it's a good title. Yeah, that's good, like, like search results because uh, people would rather put right? one bill instead of 850 mil, you know? <laughs> oh, exactly, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, though, like, a, a good tip for people that are just learning to do, trying to do something different that that's completely out of their, ex- uh, you know, uh, experience it is, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of failures when you try to um, do whatever it is that you're doing. Right. But you should always be critical about when, whatever something doesn't work, because the whole idea is you don't know anything yet. You're always trying to get better and better and better. You'll never be the best. So whatever you do, even if you improve, you should always look for mistakes and try to, you know, look, look around and see what you can do to improve that. Cause you're always trying to get better at it. And, and if you have that mindset where you don't think you're perfect at what it is that you're doing, and you're always improving, you, you'll, you'll get somewhere, you know, I don't know where, but you'll, you'll definitely get somewhere. 
better than where you are. Because like I know a lot of people, they they either like they were just like ah I quit right because like they made a mistake and then that's it opportunity's gone. Or oh there will be people where they get somewhere and they're like I think I'm good now. I'm gonna stick to what I do and only that. That 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 usually means they're screwed at some point because the I pace mean, is gonna evolve. And if you're not, yeah, you don't want to be complacent for yeah. If you're not ever, like following really. that, if you're not in that, you know, if you're not flowing. You're, you're gonna get you're just gonna get left to dust because people are gonna be like you know what your services aren't that good anymore there's people doing it better or your videos aren't that good anymore there's people doing it more interesting than you bye you know so always strive to improve right and you should always feel feel that way like if you're truly passionate about what you're doing you should never be like i'm i'm just good at what i do now and that's it you should always find some time you know it's okay to chill for a bit you know you like you deserve you earn something after a lot of work improvement you got somewhere you know chill for a bit but always look to improve whatever it is that you're doing because it's really important that's how i see it personally yeah but yeah filmmaking whatever it, it applies in my opinion and yeah, never mm-hmm. never just like to add on that to close that or whatever just never be afraid to try anything new either yeah yeah it's part of the that's improvement all. process yeah. yeah unless it's your uncle in a closet <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah, maybe if you're like, you know, like 80 years old, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> you should always try to push. I cuz I don't know, when I'm older or when I'm 40, 50, I still feel like I still want to keep pushing it, you know, like trying to do something new cuz I don't know, it'd be boring, right? If I'm not, I'm if I'm just like retired, like I can't imagine myself retiring from anything really. I'd just be like Back I'd be dead. Landscape. I'd be dead, dude. I'd be like, yo, I'm bored. Eight years from now, bro. He's got like because you know why i'd be like looking at my grandparents i'm like yo i don't want to be my like, grandparents they're so boring you know like what <laughs> do they do like they don't do anything man it's so boring i can't i can't do that maybe it's a symptom of our times overworking but that's another discussion altogether i think know? it's yeah. overstimulation of the brain from yeah technology. that's it yeah and it makes that, us want to just keep doing things yeah it's a drug yeah it <laughs> could drug. be you know we could be in a bad mental state who knows but as far as i'm aware you know i think i'm doing good for now but hey i could be wrong Maybe what I said is just like, you know, maybe you should have just chilled and stuck to you doing what you're doing, right? Because there's also the idea of, um, you know, being happy with your ad and kind of like doing that the whole time too. But I wouldn't say it's, it's good or yeah. bad, I guess. It's just pick your poison, you know? I, I just choose to overwork myself, I guess. But yeah. Yeah. That's a different We're all that's very a different motivational topic. Yeah, today. Bro. That's a different topic, okay. though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go to do today. And subscribe, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you do that, of course, man. Um, yeah, it's not black and white, that's for sure. But it's not black and white. Uh, I'm, I'm so you were telling you the overwork bias, you know, side of things, right? And then maybe listen to someone else that's like, you know what? You don't have to work this hard. You can just chill and be happy where you're at, you know? That, I think that's also a really good outlook too, right? Just, you know, just look at both sides and then you'll figure out your truth. Are we getting into Buddhism right here, do you? Are we going into yeah. some religious speech? Uh, it's a bit of a philosophical side of it, but I think I, I... We should I have a, a, a podcast for that because I could, I could, I'm could. i holding back. Trust me. I know <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah. they're shaking. Trust me. We, we'd be yeah, going deep like, right now. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, um, I'm just... I don't want to over overindulge that idea, so, but you get what I'm but saying. But one day, we're, we're going to go deep, though, on that. Yeah, on that I subject. said it fairly it's broadly there. Broad, it's a very broad topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's a lovely topic, yeah. though. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's uh, let's head back into drum, bro. So yeah, what, what kind of content creation are you cooking up lately? Like, you said you were editing a video right now about some more master clues? Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to... I'm, this, I'm probably editing, like, two months in advance here. Oh my um, God. Just, just like, <laughs> I can make it good um because like i will my, my thought process on it i'll just kind of like start from the beginning so la- last year i you know stacked up the 500 master caskets this time i'm i'm still stacking up master caskets but i'm only going to do like 100 at a time and so the the problem is how do i hype people up to want to see 100 whereas the last time i only i did 500 it's a lot less right and so i mean there's no reason why i can't hype people up about it for like a you know even if it's like a smaller event than last time so i'm just you know gathering ideas on how i can make that into an event on stream i was thinking about he's building it dude. Yeah. he's building it up. i was thinking yeah. about parking when you hyped up one of his videos i think he like brought over a girl from craigslist or something open him Oh, I think I'm used. I don't know, man. I love hey, was that, here, that was wasn't it on one of his friends? Was it on one of his friends? I don't want to be disrespectful. All I know is I mean, he, he, brought some, he brought some girl on his video like twerking. It must have been one of his <laughs> friends, surely. <laughs> it was something <laughs> like that, wasn't it? Oh, man. I don't know. You're lovely, bro. Oh, man. So that's man. always an option, dude. Okay, I'm not saying it's... <laughs> 
<laughs> no, dude, Trump, Trump has a girlfriend, so dude. <laughs> or you know, Trump has a girlfriend. Dude. Like, you well, can't it's not do for that. him. It's for the viewers. You know, <laughs> <laughs> she'll, totally. she'll never, she'll never. He's yeah, like, she'll yeah. appear on my streams every once in a while because, like, if I'm streaming, I'll have like a little blue LED like light <laughs> shining on the wall over there. Uh, but she'll like when she's leaving the room or coming back in. She's just like you. Just see a shadow up here on the wall. So like people, people just like say like, "What the Mystery fuck was that?" Girlfriend. Like, sometimes I'll just be like, "What do you mean? I live alone?" Or uh, you know, just things like a lot of the times now they'll just call her like you know like Peter Pan Shadow or something. Some fun mystery fun girlfriend name, like, ever like involved or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, she'll never more. show her face ever. Yeah, There's make her make her do a shadow only twerk <laughs> for the <video. laughs> Inspired by men. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> Grum, so you said you were editing two months in advance. Does that mean you have time to teach me how to YouTube, bro? Is that what's going on? <laughs> you got time to uh, I, I told you, a man of wisdom. I, <laughs> I mean, oh. I'm, I'm always diving into the analytics now. I wasn't as much last year. I've been yeah, diving always, out you know, of talk it. Talk to people. <laughs> I can always talk to people about that. How would you guys like to actually form, um, because I've been in the NFT space, they form DAOs. So this would be like a, kind of like a DAO for YouTube. We'd open up a Twitter DM and then like share, share information, dude, about how to get your videos popping. Because I feel like all of us would uh, really, uh, what's the word? Yeah, honestly, I talk about it with Verf all the time, personally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we would all really benefit from growing our channels. I like uh, we collabs for sure, but I'm saying like just sharing the base mm-hmm. knowledge of what's popping, what's hype, keywords, yeah, trendies, thumbnails. Yeah. Um, well, YouTube I actually doubt. just introduced a, a thing recently into the analytics where you can actually see what your audience is searching for on YouTube, like That's what crazy. keywords they're typing in on YouTube. If y'all didn't know that, mm. Dude, this man's subbed to the like, yeah, I heard analytics that, page or some yeah. shit, man. You know, Dude, I can't remember the last. The only times I type stuff in on YouTube is when like something breaks. I'm like how to fix the door handle. Like I, I just I've been on YouTube for so long now. Like literally oh since it God. first came out in 2006. Like door handle, right? <laughs> yeah. So like I'm already I'm sub to so many people. I just get content. Just it just comes to me. Like it's just there. And I just like oh yeah, I open up like five or six videos. I'm like I'm I'm good for the next few hours. And then like I see videos like on the recommended. I don't type. I can well, remember, like the only time I type is if I have a problem. That, yeah, well, is the idea, the, yeah, that idea would be though only only the people that are watching videos through passive su- suggestions watch videos, whereas there's a whole group of people that are actively typing to look for something, right? And and like you kind of you want to be able to capture those people, right? And I think that's what mm-hmm. Drum is doing, you know, doing a lot of work on is finding these, you know, these like harder to catch fishes. But when you do catch them. It, it's you know it pays out he's not yeah. finding he's found some bro yeah yeah that's but like constantly channel so far it's, mm-hmm. it's you know it's well you gotta you gotta, gotta find new fish right every time right because you know sometimes you'll you'll catch some and they'll leave at some point but then you got you that's gotta why i want to yeah. get that dms going so we can all find some new fish boy yeah that's right? kind of like yeah. Yeah. I'm, i would right say now, i'm not a best lot of that. runescapers are such in guarding into the rift stuff still yeah that's been one one of the hot topics on yeah, you the know, rune crafting uh, has in, changed. In my yeah. analytics page, what it's been showing me the Time last to few make weeks. five separate games. Yeah, like, you know, like the rune crafting video I did oh, oh, actually crazy seems right to be doing pretty good, you know? It's like, it's it's doing some numbers, so it's good, you know? Compared to like, it. it's more popular than hardcore group environment, you know? For sure. It's fun to watch. Well, I mean, people want to learn how to do it. Party so. in the Rift? Yeah. Ain't no way. Like, oh, it's this way. Okay. It's a minigame. Like, oh, it's rune guys. crafting like the absolute like shittiest skill to train like one yeah, of the three huge. at least you know runecrafting agility uh mining or whatever and the fact that this is like guardians of the rift i don't know if you guys have done it is actually like pretty decent content yeah, it's pretty um, fun you know when you you know consider that it's you're training runecrafting at the same time so people are like holy shit i can actually get this to 99 and it's not awful an awful experience kind of thing and so it's just gotten Damn. more attention because of all this stigma or whatever word uh, that, you know, room crafting has gotten for the last like two decades, basically. It's kind of wild to think there's a hype going on just because of how mm-hmm. shit room crafting is. <laughs> 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 like, there's a whole crowd going. Yeah. So, right so now. I'll give just, you my like, example, you know, right? Um, it's true. Gardens of the Rift is high searched for me. Uh, Vorkath is high search. Zora is medium search. Yeah, here I'll, I'll here's a screenshot um, yeah. of like the top ten things like. Where are you finding this info, currently. boys? Uh, just go to your YouTube studio. Yeah, it's on the top uh, right. Where we're showing. Yeah, we learned. Click on analytics uh, too. Analytics. That's interesting. 
Guardians mm-hmm. of the Rift, Vorkath. Yep. Once you click Very on high. analytics at the top right, you'll see a button that just says research. Land of the Goblins. Boys, all I'm seeing is a bunch of titles oh. for this podcast. You know what I mean? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So I'll tell you, Guardians of the Rift is heavy. Yeah, it's very heavy. Four cat guys. We do a heavy. nice little five minute segment and uh, pop the title real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck, no, honestly, it's bro. A good way mine's... To do I'm gonna make a four cat guy, guys. <laughs> Dude, mine is literally uh, podcast. Yeah. Mine is one of the top ones on mine is cats meowing. What the hell is it? High <laughs> church volume yeah, on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, Why? Yeah, Why? Like that. Uh, last week, people like in, in my I'm thing, like the it. number one search <laughs> yeah, for my yeah. viewers was Hasbula. Hasbula. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I didn't know who that was at first. What I was like, heck? what? Dude, actually, none of these are the anything to do with RuneScape. What? Yours? That's so weird. Mine's yeah, all yeah. Warcat. Yeah, mine's all like, RuneScape. Yeah, mine's all yeah, RuneScape. I have- I have Ares, Cats Meowing, GR Corolla, NSDR. Oh, well, well, it's just because you haven't uploaded recently. Is that why? It could be why. Yeah, it, it could, could be. be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it could be, actually. That might be right. Wait, where is I was going to say, mine's fucking weird, man. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I, I usually upload, like, you know, every week or so videos. at the moment, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And- so. But yeah, no. Also, like, also in that page, mm-hmm. instead of looking at the your viewer searches one to the left of it, searches across YouTube. That one, mm-hmm. you can type uh-huh. in a keyword there, and like, say, like you're you're something. gonna go kill Zora. Type in the keyword Zora, and then you'll see the keywords that are more popular than others. That's it. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, it's it, pretty huge. It definitely helps out. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. Huh. And then it, so it helps you title you a bit better, your, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's where you think of like a title idea, yeah. and then these are definitely going to be like what you want to put in your. your you, you know, for, your, fortunately your for you, you, fortunately for me, like when I when I think of a topic, right? For the and then I, I want to title around the topic. Oh, usually, it's the same as kind of like the most popular search terms because, like for example, Zora Guide OSR is the most popular for Zora, and it makes sense because like what else are you going to watch Zora for? Maybe a loop video. Right, but a guide is by far. That's why guides do so well. If it's a good guy, it especially does so well, for sure. That's why my, my most viewed video was a guide. You know, sure. The quest guy. My number one viewer search is Land of the Goblins OSR. Is wow, What's your viewers you? like to do quests. You know, what Get the hell it. is that, bro? It's a quest. New quest. The... Oh, new oh, goblin quest. Sense. Yeah. I was, I was, I was like, what the hell is Land of the Goblins? Land of the Goblins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure this updates every day. Restless Ghost guys. Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. sure these are gonna be key. I'm gonna use all this information you're telling me, bro. I'm not getting <laughs> it all in, sadly, but I need to get all of it. I'm trying to soak this shit. Yeah, like, 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 Mint. When you're like trying to do a video about revs, you t- type in revs and see what people search about revs the most, and then you know, easy title, right? Mm-hmm. For example. Ah. <laughs> yep. No, four ninety nine. Did not do that, bro. Did you not see my thumbnail? I literally just popped Mod Ash's face in there. You think I know what I'm doing? And I'm just no, saying, bro. Four ninety nine for that insight, bro. Come on. That's what <laughs> I'm just trying to learn right here. Just to, I've showed, I've shared this with other YouTubers as well. This website right here. Uh, you can upload your thumbnail on there and come up with a title. You can, you know, just as an example. Oh. And you can okay. see what your thumbnail and title is going to look like on basically every device. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I like to do it in my own way, which is look at the yeah. phone and shit. But yeah, mm. it's nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Notepad, bro. It's soaking. Mm, Notepad. It's, soaking, <laughs> it's <laughs> filled. I'm taking the drum course right now. <laughs> you accept it out. Hey, man. Khan nope. Economy. I swear, this is this is what I look up to, like almost on a daily basis is how to how to get master my marketing to more people and stuff yeah. like that how to make i'm telling you man. edit better all that kind of stuff i'm, I'm always just like see looking so for- so you know there's the side where you you do your passion you do your thing right but then sometimes without the proper marketing uh ambition your your stuff don't go anywhere you know yeah yeah so so if you want to maximize your chance of showing people that you know you are good at what you do like you, sometimes you got to learn some marketing or have people that can do it for you but a lot of the mm-hmm. times though you could probably do it yourself you know because yeah. then you can trust yourself on that i guess so it's also why i got into youtube in the first place because i wanted to be a streamer at first right but you know like i said earlier i was streaming for like and you know a year straight never getting over like five average viewers kind of thing and then when i started yeah, like, looking to all this kind of stuff it's like yeah. well i'm only discoverable when i'm live which is like three to four hours when i can actually stream not even every day but yeah. youtube when you, you know a video that's their 24 hours, seven days a week. Yeah, Twitch is, is um, anytime. 
Yeah, Twitch, the way you you grow, it's it's such a different way of doing it because like YouTube is very yeah. marketing heavy, right? Like how good you are marketing really like thumbnails, titles, really really skews things, right? For on, on you know, for the better. Whereas Twitch is more like, um, what kind of clicks are you in? Really? It's cause because yeah. yeah. a lot of your growth yeah. will come from uh, people's word of mouth, raids. Uh, host. Yeah, never never rely on raids and hosts I, i've learned that yeah yeah but like but like well. for like a new person though starting right. out that's like usually how how it happens because because yep. otherwise you will literally be stuck on on like you know like the five viewer like lifestyle mm-hmm. forever kind of thing mm-hmm. so yeah i mean there's nothing wrong with that because like I, like fortunately for us right we you know we, we do youtube so so starting streaming is a lot easier i never had to deal with that well, obviously, I have to deal with it for YouTube, but like you know, you just mark your way out of that. But on Twitch, is is really about you know knowing the communities that you're you know that you you, mm-hmm. you need to be in. I I'm guess. still trying to get partnered over there if that ever happens. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean you're One doing day, good. You're yeah. growing. I see you growing. So you know, just One day for sure. Good. Um, you use yeah. your marketing. You know, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I, I'll mission. I still haven't landed how to market my Twitch more through my YouTube video. It's I'll so hard. It. I don't really I'll bother. I'll mention in every much, single man. video, and I I, I've tested much. multiple different ways, like mentioning at the beginning, at the end, mm. at the middle, like a quarter of the way in. Oh, how trust to do me. it? Do I just say it? How fast do I say it? Um, uh, all that kind of stuff. Because you'll all see all this stuff in the analytics too. The second I start talking about Twitch, gone. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm telling you, man, like, you can't do it often because um, they, people really will fight you. They will really oh, fight you. Yeah. Yeah. The, the best the, way that I, I've done it now is I'll, I have an upload schedule where I always upload on Sundays at 3 p.m. That's just, that's just the time that works for me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but I always go live at that exact moment and I'll, I'll say it in a video, but then I'll also comment on the video, pin it, and be like, yo, I'm live yeah. like right now as this video is up. Yeah, because you can also just delete it after. Because you know, yeah. then yeah. that's how you get like, not everyone comments on the video, not everyone likes the video. So the people who scroll down to take that extra time to comment and like on the videos are the people that you want to get over or have a better yeah, chance yeah, yeah, of yeah. over yeah. to a different platform. Yeah, like what I found um, is that doing it in the least aggressive way over time um works 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 well in the sense that like you don't annoy people and but but people will click it's not like you you know people click a ton but every once in a while you'll you'll get a new person that like you know binges your stuff they go through some descriptions and click on your because i always have my twitch link obviously in the in in every Mm -hmm. video right and that naturally people just click on that over time and then they're like yeah i love your stuff uh you know i think it's about time um that i i visited because here's the thing it's not that people don't know you have a twitch for the most part, they do, right? Like, yeah. But the problem is, it takes people a lot of courage and energy to finally make that like step. So, like, sometimes you don't have to overmarket it because those people are already aware that you stream. It's just more of like, it takes people a lot of energy and time to want to invest mm-hmm. in a new platform. So you kind of let them do that on your own, and and yeah. that's what I've noticed is is that I don't really like really specifically talk about Twitch anymore. I'll like you know uh, do a little text here that'll pop up, but it won't you know it won't like. Yeah, yours is just like in the chat box. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't even anything. take time or anything. Bother yeah. or interrupt the exactly. You know, the yeah. viewer exactly. I just do it really, so. really passively, and and yeah, people still click on it, especially the podcast, for example. Like us doing the podcast, a lot of people come from that. It's weird, but it's good. You know, right. good yeah. A good segue is I was going to ask Drum, do you have any tips that would help us out for the podcast? Are we doing something that we should be not doing? Are we doing something that we should be doing more of? Uh, not. That I can immediately like, you know, say off. Yeah, the, I know you don't have like a that. It's a brief view of our channel, but because mm-hmm. I mean, this is I haven't really like. There's not a lot of podcasts that I listen to. Like I listen to the RuneScape ones because that's the community one. You know, that's the community that I'm involved with. So that's mm-hmm. like any other podcast I don't know. So I can't really compare and contrast differences between it because it's a different kind of audience for a different kind of content. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say that you guys are doing anything bad. I mean, I like the layout that y'all have for it. A lot of people will just have like, you know, just a screen recording of like a discord call. You know, there's no, Mm -hmm. there's no graphics, no overlays like you guys have. So I think, you know, already you guys are taking, you know, taking it a step above to actually make it a little bit more professional. So that, that's like the, the first immediate thought. Cause I mean, I've seen podcasts before YouTube video, I click on. Or, I mean, I guess podcasts on Spotify is a little bit different because it's just audio, but just like for where you guys upload um, to, to try and get yourself out there, it's just like that's already an extra step that you guys are taking that other people are not doing. 
if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, per, yeah, yeah. My personal critique of our podcast is that we're just not the most consistent, you know? I'll be honest, we're just not the most consistent. But but when we are, though, that's where our growth hits the best, personally. But, like, at the same time, yeah. you know, I, I understand that we have some limitations, but we all have our own individual stuff to do. And and that's why I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be, like, that guy that's going to, like, bug all, you know, the boys. Be like, hey, this week, podcast. This week, next week, podcast. You know, like, I can't always be like that because, you know, at, at, at times I feel like, yo, I can do with a break. And, on, on, and admittingly, I, I'm aware of that. You know, that's a weakness, right? Uh, but but I feel like in a way, hey, it is what it is for that for the for the moment, right? But if everyone's super uh, motivated, you know, to pump out vi- videos every week, I'll be, I'll feel that um, synergy. I'll I'll be a part of that. But but when we're like kind of like you know just laying low, I was just like, all right, we can lay low. It's cool, you know. I, I get the vibe right now, you know. Yeah, but yeah, that's no, definitely sure. one of our weaknesses, and I'll, I'll admit it. You know, I'll admit to that for I mean, sure. If anything, yeah. y'all could probably just get together and be like, you know, let's start off with something, you know, small, right? Let's pick one day out of the month where we all kind of like have a as good of a chance as any to get together to sit down and talk and do a podcast and be consistent with that one day per month, and then build from there. If yeah, we try, we try, <laughs> we try. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was like, that's <laughs> my motivation my yeah. was pretty down during the pandemic and mm-hmm. runescape and you know i think we were all like ripped about something yeah we were yeah like people are on breaks which helps. i yeah. agree for yeah. sure i think we're all working on that i think the motivation is pretty pretty high now at um, the moment yeah That's and the good. channel mainly i want like more critiques on like should we cover different topics i mean i don't know we should cover the ring crafting mini game i'm not sure how that works or maybe like uh, our titles dude are we grabbing people by our titles or our thumbnails? You know, Rice does a fun. I think he does a great job. He's, he's grabbing. Like, we've definitely had some hitters, like the Mall yeah. Mackey one, right? Like, dude, like, that one has some strong uh, views, I, like, you know? Mate, yeah. you got to think, like, podcasts, like, mm. the actual format is so different from, like, yeah, our regular videos, man. You're yeah. talking, like, uh, what, like a premium 10 minute video that's, like, no. prime for YouTube no, versus, for sure. like, two hours you know but i still think there's there's really good info because he's yeah for sure in our community you know and that's kind of the our our foundation is a runescape community and if we grow out of it not like out of i mean like encompassing it and then build um then then yeah then we'd probably go but for now folks i say for this this podcast we just title it cats meowing featuring drum (laughs) And just see how it's gonna pop right You know, how about this? How about this? What What if we do? What if we on on the analytics thing? We type uh, RuneScape podcast. Let's see what people look up the most. I guess. Oh, you you know it's gonna Let's be go. the old school RuneScape podcast. Here we go. Oh, it has it has to be. It looks like there aren't many results. Ah. So here's the issue at hand: is that we're trying to do something so different from you no, know R- RuneScape mm-hmm. stuff. Right, RuneScape yeah. videos that it just it hasn't been in people's minds that like is there intellectual people or p- people pretending to be intellectually interesting to talk for two hours straight and and actually have a good time listening, right? Like I think so. We 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 have a in a way we have a heavy obstacle. It's that we have to create something that isn't really there yet. So, We're paving the way. Mm-hmm. We're paving yeah. the way. Listen, so. I'm gonna say this right now. In five years' time, if RuneScape's still going, there will be a load of podcast channels. We'll probably be done and dusted. Maybe. Hopefully maybe not. not. I'm down to and keep there'll going. Prob- there'll probably <laughs> be like up. three or four really successful podcast channels that are just like fucking on their way to 100k. Like yeah. just a thousand subs per day. <laughs> why are we <laughs> doing like, this, bro? <laughs> why, are we, why are we probably? No, no I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll tell you the why truth, bro. I've I seen. I've seen some yeah, podcasts. Man, be bro. A top four, bro. Yo, I've seen some podcasts. Like not obviously, even your not imagination. Escape. Bro, like, dude, dude, podcasts, podcasts is, is huge, uh, huge potential. But like for RuneScape, it's difficult. Like, for example, um, there's a podcast that I, I sometimes look into. Like, they're called Trash Taste. They're like anime based. But mm. dude, obviously, an anime as a you know as a cultural thing is gigantic now. This one, but but like, yeah, they they can just put out put out two videos a week at a million views minimum. Every podcast, like, yeah. it's just I mean, that easy. Are you one of those what? views. Dude, well, listen, sometimes, I, like I, it, once in a while. During this conversation, <laughs> I've had a fall, which one hundred percent I believe will improve our podcast, and we should totally do it at the end of this podcast, and we should put it at the front of every podcast going forward, which is basically just us free hosts, and we basically say, "Hey, if you're not subscribed to this channel, 
please make sure you subscribe because I'm telling you right now, bro, I don't even know how I have the amount of subs I do on my main channel. I do. It's because I ask people to sub mm -hmm. and it's that simple, bro. Is if you ask, voice. you shall receive. That, right. that, 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 yeah. It's not like that's a special mind. formula. You literally just say, hey, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. Like, we're so close to 10k subs. I guarantee if we do that on the next two podcasts, we will be 10k. I, I, I literally guarantee that we will. Because we're, we're struggling to grow in subs right now, getting good likes, but we're not growing in subs, right? And it's probably because we're not asking. Like, if you don't ask, you shall not receive. I well, think we yeah, need to like, do a lot that. of people that watch these podcasts, they, like, they're working and stuff, so it's kind of like, eh. But, like, yeah, no, I don't mind. I don't mind if we ask them to sub. It's fine. You know? I, I think it would help. I genuinely think it would make a huge difference. And, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, if people sub, it's like, well... You know, it's just maybe one more person yeah. who will potentially get it in their box, in their inbox, and then but you kinda, one more you person. But you kind of see what I'm talking it. about, right? It's like there's some tips and tricks that we ourselves, like we have the foundation, we have the formula, we just kind of add some spice to add it. Add some man. flavor. Yeah, you know, and Rice flavor. Cup was saying that our podcast wasn't like something people are searching for, but I got to say, it's Tile Man something people were searching for. We got to create no. it. That's the problem. Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. not that you create, it's that you create the hype with the community. I mean, my boy the, drum the here is borders right now that. look like tiles. Yeah, okay. it's tile yeah. man. You can play tile with man there, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every podcast, our character really moves one tile further. Yeah. Bro, we could literally we focus. could we could honestly tile this video the tile man podcast and just see how it does. <laughs> you know, talking about <laughs> clickbait and shit. Would someone be down to make a tile man account? Every time we do a podcast, they literally move it one step. How about every minute? How about, minute, how about this? How about every minute, like, uh, or every, uh, every minute, every 10 minutes that passes, they move one tile. <laughs> and they no, can it's really right simple, like one step per podcast, but you can do anything in that step during the podcast. So just something like so bare minimum that like two years from now, we're like, hey, we're the chicken coop, you know, or <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Man, that, that, could, that, could, man, that could literally be a segment that we do at the start of the podcast where we're like, today, boys, we're starting the Tile Man podcast. Every episode, we move <laughs> one, and you guys get to decide if we go north, east, south, or west. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> Just make sure you change the webcam borders, the, the colors. Since there's four webcams, you got to have three of them red as the border and the other one green. <laughs> Yo, no, how about down. this? We just the do it one time for a house. troll and then see how people like working. it. <laughs> I, people will right. love it, bro. Yeah. Like, we should have 100% <laughs> of that. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, we could do that. I mean, it's fine. No, I don't mind. I don't yeah, mind, no, like, next podcast. Make a podcast. RuneScape re actual related pod uh, thumbnail, like, in-game RuneScape character just standing in the tiles themselves. Maybe you can... This is just out there thought. Yeah. Make the webcams like actually like three D move it onto a tile like the characters like standing on one of the webcams or the other ones. In you know what? Kind of thing. I like that it's idea, possible. but I'm more of a visual learner. Could you pop up Photoshop and just quickly make that real? No, no. no he's saying he's saying the tiles <laughs> fits our webcam, right? Is that what you're saying? That our tiles yeah, fits our yeah, webcam. basically the, like... the tiles are the webcam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll be, we'll be like this on the ground. <laughs> You know, I love crazy. how Mike tries to get people to do jobs for him, yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a visual learner. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty easy. Right, like, we can literally do a parody next next podcast. Literally, we start off the podcast. Well, this is our uh, first podcast with the Tao account, so uh, we'll move one square now. You guys I decide like, where we oh, move, and then... Man, I, like to we, we should do it for this one. Yeah, it'll take two yeah. minutes to do. Dude, no, yeah, no, it's account. too late. I gotta make an account yeah, now, we'll, so we'll, we'll do it we'll, we'll next do it. We'll do it next episode. Next episode. reach out to Settled, see if we can get maybe 30 minutes of his time, right? And then we'll just start the, the, the series there. And we'll have him make rules for us, too. Why not? People, uh, good. people like him. Yeah, I like him, dude. It'd be great, dude. We could have the podcast tile <laughs> side series. <laughs> we should do it. We should actually do it. We so I'm fucking done. jokes. This sounds dude. sick. And every, every podcast we can upload or up, update on Twitter because it would just be one picture, Listen, We could do it so easily. All you gotta do, it doesn't even need to be an account. It's a joke, bro. Go and use your account, strip it naked, put it in Lumbridge. Literally, no, no, just make a new account. Boys, this official. is the podcast tile man. 
We need you all to vote north, east, south, or west down in the comments on this video. And next podcast, we will move it in that direction. That's yeah. all you got to do. No, no, just make, make a new, new account, account, bro. Make a new account. Uh, literally, it's literally free make, to play. It's, bro, it's free to play. You don't have to pay anything. Had, like, it's literally a free are account. Gonna share the, are we all going to share the info? Yeah, it's just a free account. No. It's free to play account, bro. Yeah. I'm joking. But, you know, <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I, it, it's I one of those really things, like, isn't it? Yeah, I would really like... I don't know if we get settled. Maybe... um. An, another tile man who has some expertise that would be able to help us craft rules. We'll have yeah. a podcast where we craft the rules. How cool would that be, though, right? That'd be, the, that'd be the lore. We'd literally have a lore podcast for the podcast. Yeah, I mean, I feel I like mean, I that's we overkill. We can get settled but... on here, I think. He's came on before. Yeah, or someone else. Like, you know, we don't want to force the man. That'd be cool, though. Um, but dude, dude, you're, putting, you're putting him on a pedestal. Stop. All We're right. going to get that good for nothing. <laughs> slacker never finished a fucking series in his life guy to come on this this podcast okay? oh did he not finish the 14 no i'm fucking trolling dude but stop, <laughs> stop putting him up there man like jesus i'm sorry holy he's, he's playing runescape mate but no um i i would like to get somebody on here who has some tile man expertise there yeah um, yeah get get someone we haven't gotten or was a was it who's doing it pip or something stuff. his name was pip i heard he does tile stuff i like pip, yeah, I like pip. Ever, yeah get him invite him <laughs> done I don't think so. You never finished the series before? <laughs> Have you ever got ranked 42 in uh, leagues? Yeah, shut your ass <laughs> up over there. I'll never sit uh, next to my ass again, boy. Lick the dragon trophy. Bro. I don't yeah. know the last league. I was ranked one hardcore yeah. army for like a whole five minutes. <sighs> Damn, bro. That's pretty big, yeah. yo. That's pretty big. Yeah. That's pretty big. And and he can bro, do I a hit spin. <laughs> and I was like rank one in dead man mode at one point for the highest mage level because I literally got the highest mage for anyone else and I was fire striking everybody who came in with their ten case. I was a king. You got your and everything. Too. Oh, but that is was at the peak of life right there, just the best moment, and then just yeah, all went dude, they were tallying in, yeah. and I was just they were wind striking me, and I was fire striking back, and they didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Man, was a blast. Man I, I I do miss dead man mode. Sad, so screen Rerun <laughs> yeah. is win. Yeah, they're doing that actually. Yeah, they are. They are actually. Yeah, it's about yeah. goddamn time. They've yeah, been, uh, yeah. Let's bring back Mika. <laughs> Let's bring like back Mika like for one of those. Year, at least. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It might be maybe. Yeah, probably about half a year. It's mad how long it's taken. But they're they're doing a well. This is funny. They're doing a rerun beta. And then they're going to do the rerun. So hopefully, if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to happen in the beta, and then the rerun's going to run smoothly. But that's exactly what they did last time. So, I mean, I'm glad they set see. it up, but it just sounds so jokes, you know? I mean, it's <laughs> I a year later. That. They got to have a beta for <laughs> it. I mean, it's not looking really strong for the tournament side of RuneScape, sadly. It's you not. Know, it's not. It's definitely a good thing that they're running a beta just to make sure like there isn't anything. Yeah. But I, I can I can almost sure. bet that the That's same bad. things that are going to be wrong with the original are going to be in the beta because they probably just put it on the back burner now for so long. Do you know what I mean? I just hope that for their sake it does go well because damn dude, it ain't looking good for PvP right now. And speaking of, uh, we should hopefully be doing a PvP podcast soon. So if any of our uh, viewers enjoy that yeah, conversation. Yeah. There's going to be one down the line real soon. And subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, so you want to want to cover anything else? Uh, I mean, there's a little race three quest that came out uh, in preparation for race three. So it looks like, you know, we're going to get that uh, within the summer looking like. That new Caress though, yeah. looking pretty they, good. Looking they, pretty said, good. they said race three was coming out early. To 2022 so i guess Bad. they they have they have till next month and then it's not early yeah we're looking it's at crazy. we're looking at like mid to yeah. late 2023 and that's that's fine with that's me. like maybe august if we're lucky mm, yeah when's august? august yeah august okay yeah i don't mind that i, I watched a, lot to do. a i watched an oak dice yesterday an oak, di an oak dice i watched an oak dice video yesterday and he pointed something out that i was like damn they haven't. The last raid that came out was TOB, and that was in 2018, right? And it's like on the cuff of being five years. And That's, I was like, has yeah, it man, has it quick. really been that long? Five years since TOB came out. Mm -hmm. 
That's a crazy amount of time that's passed. And like it doesn't feel like five years, but yeah. No, I I had to take a minute. I was like, is it really been that long? I was like, damn, like that's and how long how long has Chambers the last PvP update too? Dude, I was still I was still in college. (laughs) You know, when it happened. Yeah. You're still in college. Rice was just a, a wee lad, bro. Yeah, yeah, I was like a little rice cream. The wise now. Yeah. Little rice cup. Little <laughs> yeah, I'm, still, I'm just a slightly bigger rice cup now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you should you should change your name to Rice Bowl. That would make nah, sense. that's just not though. Yeah, no, because no. it's shaped like your age. It makes too much apparently. sense. Which is what? Why. What's like the smallest like little holding of rice you can have? Like rice grain. That's what your name should have been. Yeah, well, middle school me don't think so. I. Just, you know, whatever. <laughs> the smallest amount of rice you could have. Rice grain. Rice, <laughs> uh, rice seedling. <laughs> the fuck, man? I don't so know stupid. if our chat will make it in five years. No, maybe Bro. not. Oh, r- rice, that just reminded me. I got like this. Right, so I went to Insomnia recently, which is like a UK oh, was gaming. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really fun. But um, I went with three of my... Um, Three of my community, right? So they're they're boys that I get on with well, and they're like watching the streams and stuff like that. And uh, they were talking about you, and they basically told me that they had an inside joke. One of their friends, right? Uh, like his his like name to fame is that he almost raided with Rice Cup, right? What? To this, and th- apparently, this was like three years ago. He fuck? almost went on a raid with this guy, and that was like his name to fame. And all of them now just call him <laughs> nearly raided with Rice Cup. Yeah, that's <laughs> literally like his name from now on. <laughs> you know, right, so he has such an impact on people. I know. I was, like, I was like, I was like, this, this is what oh, Mike did. They go to sell. He put him up on a totem pole. Like, chill. Yeah, man, I like, he raids, says, I've hit settled up, but he didn't want to respond. So I'm like, if we don't want to bother, I don't put him on a totem pole. I just know people who don't. He want just to consider it. You know. Yeah, he just that's consider it. it. You know. Yeah. yeah no. You know, that makes Understand. me sad, Ben. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unfollow him right now. Cancel culture, cancel up. culture. Yeah. Us and our oh, ten subscribers, days. you know, we're gonna cancel. Oh, <laughs> I, I just, I just know some people, you know, don't love the old Mike. Man. You gotta stop thinking that people dislike you, man. If you go through it's, life, thinking it's only that people jackets, dislike okay, you, and they're probably <laughs> going to. You need to it's like not put that vibe out sometimes, dude. I don't you know, mean, man. You gotta be like, you gotta, you gotta be like, oh, this guy's yeah, gonna just really like, your, like me, just man. Like, yourself. like, I'm gonna make a good impression. <laughs> yeah. This person's gonna send me a T-shirt with my name on it. He's oh, gonna let's like talk about to reply to my messages. <laughs> you can be right. Yeah, let's talk about parents. Yeah, this is a good topic. This is a good topic, right? And, Rick, you know, could you just let's, send let's, me one of your T-shirts yeah. and I'll just embroider my name uh, over yours? Yo, yo, let's talk. Yo, let's I'll, talk about parents real quick, yeah, I'll sort you out, man. All right, well, let's talk about parents. We actually never really talk about that, you know, because we're all, we're talking adult stuff here. You know, our dreams, our aspirations, our fears. What about our parents? You know, how do your parents feel? About what you guys do. We get near my mom, right? I see your ass down yeah. there. No, drums parents. I'm more interested. In. Well, I've never heard about drums parents stuff. So let, let's let, let's hear right. about it. You know. <laughs> okay. What are they like? How uh, do they see it? I mean, yeah. they not they bad, know man, I made videos. Right, I mean, they good. they knew I made videos when I uh, won the <laughs> that RuneFest uh, comp- or Golden Gnomes competition because they had like, you know, I went to the UK by myself when like I was like right at 18, basically. Oh wow! Um, so they they knew that I was making videos from then on. Uh, but now they're just like, I mean, I don't think they watch my videos. They know I make them. They usually, like, my mom will just, like, I don't know, call every couple weeks and be like, oh, how's the how's the videos going? I'm like, they're okay. I, this, oh, we don't really, cute. like, get into too depth, like, in conversation. That's cute. I don't know how to explain the game to, to my family. <laughs> they, they don't, yeah, they don't but they care. They, they care, though. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like, okay, you, you do it, whatever. I just told my dad, he's like, do you, like, he knows I make a little bit of money off it. And he's like, oh, right, that's cool. <laughs> okay that, yeah, they don't want, no they never had like any like those pressures because i feel like a lot of you know a lot of parent pressures can really um project the path that you might take for the you know foreseeable future right yeah yeah I don't, I don't think that really got to me i mean i guess like at first like when i was like i mean no views and then all of a sudden you know my parents know that you know i get all these you got the views you know some <laughs> good a decent amount of views are so like okay you know he knows what he's doing i guess yeah, you but can't if you do that. Views, what, what would you be thinking right now? You wouldn't be telling your parents, or uh, yeah, they probably wouldn't know. No, you only <laughs> want to celebrate 
once yeah. you're like, okay, they'll accept it at a certain point. But if yeah, they see you're popping like 20 views, you're like, come on, take a check, mom. She's like, yeah, mm-hmm. trash, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, I like I know Mint and Mint's mom, for example, they're all very close to each other. Like, they all, you know, they kind of yeah, like. She edits. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I see her on stream sometimes, you know, like on your stream, on your stream. Yeah. 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 It's like. Be checking, wait, what, no, no, wait, I'm like, I've seen you stream for years. Bro, I've seen you stream for years. I'm in Idaho, bro. All right. No, I, no, bro, you invited me, bro. What do you mean? You know, <laughs> no, bro. You stay the fuck over there, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> chill, bro. Chill. Like, chill. I'm just saying, <laughs> like. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's um, cool. That's cool. No, my mom's that super uh, supportive. I could have been like anything but a drug dealer, and I'd probably have been good or a gigolo. But just <laughs> anything that generates money, she would have been great. I remember, oh, like, dude. when I was in high school, uh, I would make these really, really shitty RuneScape and Minecraft videos, and um, I didn't know how to <laughs> put audio in there, so I literally popped open Pandora and just started shuffling some music while I'm PK and so it's. <laughs> <laughs> shit. and it's like Some horrible dust horrible and i come home one day just i'm having the best day my grandma and my mom are just balls deep watching one of my videos <laughs> one of the <laughs> worst ones bro and my grandma say balls deep in each other yeah that's oh, yeah, probably not the best phrasing no. all right but i just want i wanted to show how deep they were in the video like they were they were getting in like it's probably a third one right it was, it was bad so i come in Grandma pauses the video, looks at me deep in the eyes, and goes, I'm so proud of you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that was oh the most garbage God. video. At the end in there, I realized my family is incredibly supportive. I can do whatever I want. That's I great. So much, but, oh, my God. Yeah. That's so funny. It was not 100 views. It was like her. <laughs> it, was like, it, was like, it was like 10 views. It was, like, dude, it was the most. In- I love my grandma. Oh, I love you, like, great. That's like, awesome, every- man. And that's oh. the only video she watched. So now every time she sees me, she knows I make content. So the only frame of reference <laughs> is that absolute ass of a video. She, every day she's like, I'm proud of you, Michael. I'm like, dude, thank you. Grandma. Dude, I'm no, sorry. you got to be like, look, Grandma, you haven't seen my true form. Look at this new video, you know? Like, watch this, you know? She just never calls me again. <laughs> <laughs> and your, true, your, your best what video ever was, was the um, one-hour Wednesday where we went to Barry Brothers to Revs. That was the best one. I want to do it again, but that. where would we go, right? Where would we go? Um, no God, I don't know. Yeah, it's a good question. I, we could all no dress idea. up as lava dragons. You gotta wait till yeah. next year, dude. Dress up as lava dragons. Fire capes and red masks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Rexy? What's the, yeah, what's your family masks. interaction like with, yeah. with your work? So, well, with my mom, it's probably the same as Drum, really. She's, she kind of just, like, messages every now and then and asks how it is. And, like, my dad just, oh, it's not, it's not even worth my time trying to explain it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? There, he's like, just condescending. I feel you, boy. I feel no, you, it's, it's not that he's condescending. He just, he is just very negative, and there's nothing really positive that would come from that conversation. Like uh. it would, it'd be like trying to explain to like, <clears throat> like a caveman, like thousands of years ago. Yeah, this like, reminded me. This, that the sun isn't the god or whatever, and like there's planets and shit. It's like it's <laughs> it's difficult. So they are. Yeah, yeah, we don't really get into it. But like at the end of the day, it's like we've just got our first house. The you know I managed to get a mortgage through doing this weird YouTube online thing. So it's kind of just like the proofs in the pudding, I guess. Mm. So we we don't we don't really talk about it. He just asked me if I'm doing okay, and I'm like, yep, I'm fine. So, so your dad's always been limited talker with subjects, I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah, I feel the like, same like yeah. my dad mostly. I, I kind of limited <clears throat> limited topics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's one of those things, man. It's it's like I kind of realized for me personally, it was like the less time that I spend listening to certain people in my family, and the like, further I get away, the kind of better I've done, right? Mm-hmm. And it, yeah. I love them to bits. I truly do. I love my dad. I love my family. But I just don't talk to them about this kind of stuff because I know it's not a conversation that's even worth having. Um, but my mom's quite supportive. Like she, you know, she occasionally messaged me and asked me how it's all going and stuff. So nice, man. You know? Yeah, at least one supportive person is your life, man. Is just, I mean, it makes the world a difference. It really does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my biggest support is like my partner, obviously, which is you know unbelievable the amount of support. That comes from her um but yeah it, it's just one of those things you know 
it's like I, I feel like it's literally a case of even if I would have done something that my dad would have like wanted me to do, so like doing like a trade, like being an electrician, a builder, or something like that, mm-hmm. like I would have then become miserable. Do you know what I mean? Like I would have then yeah. been doing something for somebody else, which I'm so glad that I didn't ever do, and I just decided to do what I wanted. And uh, so far, it's worked out. So yeah, hopefully yes, it continues sir. soon. Top four podcast, bro. You're in it already. Ride <laughs> the wave. Ride the wave. Top four. Five years, baby. Yeah, top, top four. four. <laughs> I think there's only four. But like, we're one we, of them, we have five fingers. You can be top five and we'll still be okay, you know? But they added another podcast would be top five. We so want to be top, top one. Four right now, though. We want to be top <laughs> one, man. But <laughs> well, we, we need to get the subscribe thing going or it's never happening. Uh, no, but we seriously... This, this is the thing. Actually, do you know how you pa- do you know how you pave the way on places like YouTube and stuff? Bro, I just it's had why succeeding, right? E.g., mm. views, you know subs. Always, no, I'm <laughs> telling you right now, dude. If if our podcast, like, let's say uh, theoretically, we had a hundred thousand subs, I bet you're fucking ass there. Yeah, we'd be podcast really good. popping up left, mm. right, and center, dude. Sure. Because that's that's what it is. That's the thing that inspires other people. To jump success, on that bandwagon, inspire success. Yeah. You, you know what? You know what? You know, Trump's put us some great points, and I think it uh, in our discussion to improve. Yes. Yeah. No, I think our, our our discussion to improve our whatever it is that we're doing, right? Like, I, I think a it's really learner. Uh, you know, really, yeah. really gave me some ideas just now. Like, like we should really use the power of our viewers, right? Because like the people that watch this podcast, Honestly. they're diehards. <laughs> they're diehards, man. They really want the more podcasts, right? right? And they can Wait, how, do how that. Often? How often do you guys uh, talk about this to y- your own audiences? Like once in a while. Okay. Once in a blue. Really rarely. I, I, like, I, I can it's imagine it's like all the the people that are subscribed to your podcast now are probably the one percent of dedicated audiences. Like, oh, audience yeah, or truck, truck drivers, drivers or truck had. drivers. Yeah. 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 I, I talk about it quite a lot, but yeah. it gets brought like up listen. in my chat quite a lot. Mm. Like it's organic. Like a lot of people come into my my chat and say, Hey, I really like the podcast or whatever, and then we just get talking about it. So yeah. I probably talk about it, I'd say at least once a stream. Like probably well, I, once I think a stream in, in the context of the videos that we do, um we don't talk about it too often, right? But like I feel like it's okay because oh, yeah. because like I feel like we're at a point where we've talked about a lot of uh, you know more outside you know just more like general runescape things right we can only say those things so many times you know before it gets boring yeah. why not talk about yeah. sometimes our our you know our creative sides right our creative strategies I, and and you know like i said you know thanks to you drum i think i've come up with some really cool ideas that we could try yeah. i mean you know racy Honestly. loves his promoting by subscribing i think that's cool he should be the one that leads that all the time you know mint's got got the sell out likes going i think what we could do thank you uh, is another surprise. thing we could really do style, another know. right so another thing we could do is that you know we have some really passionate viewers that want to have podcasts every week but oftentimes we struggle getting people right mm-hmm. I, I i i feel like we should call to action at the beginning to ask our viewers hey if you want a guest maybe from mmo uh perspective or strictly runescape content creator that you want to be on to talk about something let them know right in their comments. Uh, I don't know. Hit them up on Twitter or whatever, right? Because they, because th- that's the only way to truly connect those people to us is that, is that their viewers, which are our viewers, you know, want to connect us together, right? I feel like we can do that. Yeah. I feel like that would really get us some people that we otherwise wouldn't be able to. So that's right. that's a really good point. That's quite organic as well. I exactly. Guess. Yeah. Like, because as long as you, as, lo- as long as you're not telling them, they help themselves. So it kind of isn't, but it kind of yeah. is. Yeah, no, we but know. like you know, it's 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 a good way because they help themselves to more podcasts, so they have direct impact in our success, which is nice. And and we, we usually could yeah. totally do with some of that because you know we struggle getting certain people sometimes. Yeah, yeah, we're we're usually pretty like that Josh um, guy, you know, like no for the first hour of the podcast, you know, we're on our points, we're covering what we got to cover. If you're coming yep. for the podcast, you're getting your information. You're happy about that's it. That's what hopefully. we've been good at recently. So I'm and happy then, you know, we'll kind of go a little broader the second hour for people who maybe come here for us. And we don't usually talk about the channel like this, but honestly, we're pretty straightforward. Like when we do the sellout, we're like, hey, if you like the video, our channel is going to do better. So if you could, mm-hmm. that'd be great. We will tell you. We're not going to like, oh, you're going to get a Tesla. No, we're going <laughs> to tell you why. Honestly, Drum, you inspired me and I believe our podcast because we already got two ways to get more viewers now. We got Rakesy's method of literally just asking, which I think is probably going to be pretty good. And then we got fucking Tile Man, bro. 
I mean, oh, it's going to be Tile right, Man. Cool. We, we should promote that Episode too. one next promos. podcast. All right? Because sure no a, one's a themed thumbnail, though. Like, honestly, like... You're going to make it. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I, I, I yeah. you know, I, I, can, I, can work, I can work it. I can work it. You think we can twerk it. You know? like, um, some sort of poll of which way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll put like a little do in the comments. Comments. Bro, yeah. We should we should yeah we should make them comment you it so the interaction. So yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. You're gonna be able to bet bet as well. <laughs> we're gonna have to find a, a website. website. No, no, we don't. We're not betting. We just <laughs> yeah, we just see which <laughs> what comment has the most <laughs> on direction. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we should maybe we should make it more interesting and maybe we should make it more interesting and be like ten steps just because. Okay. They're yeah, obviously gonna take us to the wildy. It's gonna take forever to get there. So like, <laughs> do I mean like maybe we should do ten we'll steps at a time? What? Oh yeah, I got an idea. Okay, so we can get a comment generator, and for ten steps, we will randomly generate ten comments, and whatever their comment says, we will do within one or two steps. Oh, that that, that can, works too. Yeah, yeah, and then we can call it Tile Man Generator. Sorry, I know. There's, there's, oh, there's community. Oh, there. community like, driven yeah, Tile Man. There you go, community yeah, driven Tile Man. That's it. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, and just so you get you get the ten comments, and then you like go north one. Yeah, north YouTube East, controls our Tile Man. <laughs> How about that? Dude? Good. This YouTube is what drama is bro. Yeah, hey, yeah, do y'all bro. utilize your community posts? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, Not once as much as we should. Not because like I, I've, I've used some. I've tested some. it out, and I do it basically every time I upload a video. Now I either ask the question or start start a poll. Polls are like the best way to do it because it gets more impressions, more interactions, and things like that. Mm, so you yep. could probably like as an idea every time you upload a podcast, ask a question for the poll or you know or for the the post or whatever, and link the podcast below. But you take a question from the video itself and generate a discussion that way in the community post, and mm. then th- that just indirectly leads people to the podcast. I- I've seen it work for for my videos. Honestly, we can yeah, make I do, a I some polls talking right? about Tile Man and then seeing if they would like to add on to some of the rules that we haven't made yet. So. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like, would you like to see a community, uh, community uh, driven Tile Man move for our podcast? Yeah, <laughs> so they can make the rules. They make. Yeah. The rules. Who was it that was typing in our community post, bro? I was Me. reading our community post. I, I, like, I wrote the last who? two. Who wrote this broken English ass shit? I'm like <laughs> trying to make sense of this. Dude, Wait, what do you mean? You you literally wrote three weeks podcasts three weeks in a row. <laughs> That's reading it. I was like, oh my god, you let them on the account, <laughs> bro. I, I had to hype it up. So, no, I, Dude, I, 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 love, I love it. You got like a bunch of likes. Oh, bro, 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 bro. You got you got to read this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it into the. I can edit Discord. it. I can this edit is, it. This is exactly what. I was, and I read it and I was like, I was like, am I being dyslexic right now? Wait, 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 wait. The first, kind of no, the latest one. I didn't do that. You the didn't latest, do that one. The last one, I didn't do that one. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I did that one. Now. I did that one. You, you can tell that I did it because I, I've let it, laid it out like really nice, and it's like easy to read. And <laughs> yeah, it's all yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to put the weeks twice in that one. Yeah. That does, I, did I, you I, put I, a community that shit, post? That shit me up. <laughs> Three podcasts weeks in a row. Put a community <laughs> post, like build some hype, just really, really um, subtle, and like they're like, uh, yeah, like podcast. Oh, it's simple. Yo, know, someone's got like that you know what I mean. I already, I already do like the video uploads and stuff. You know, and dude, I'm literally, stuff. I'm literally gonna do a poll right now, and I'm gonna type. Yeah, new yo, Racy should be a new podcast. Uh, this... Focus is closure. No, wait, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Yes or no? Yes or yes? <laughs> no, no, I want to build hype for the Tile Man. All right. Yeah, what do you guys think oh, about community-driven oh, Tile Man mode? Yes or no? Right. Right. No, 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 no. We're gonna build hype. We're not gonna even ask. We'll be like, com- right? Like, we're gonna be like podcast Tile Man. Step one question mark or something. I don't know. You know, no, you no, erase it. Like, break it down. Do, 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 do. All right, right. Hold no, on. community Hold input Tom and mode. First move. Know, is, question mark. Community, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. First. Hmm. No, try try first, to find a way to simplify it as YouTube as plays as Tom and mode. How about that? YouTube like, plays Tom and mode. This is as mode. simple as I make mine. Yeah, go. Go for it. Which, which boss is better? That, you know, I just named the bosses and yeah. it goes. But like, you can kind of see yeah. there, like, it got four and a half thousand votes. Uh, my community yeah. post always gets more engagement than my yeah. videos do. Yeah, yeah, for every, sure. Every they, time, just like every yes, single time. No, yes, it no. could be like Dude, uh, I, I might put. I think that's a gonna... that a long time ago. Oh, this is scuffed, but I need you guys to build on this. All right, help me. And then north or south will be like the options. 
Or should I put wall? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yo, yo, Rixie, I gotta get out yeah, of here. You can you just put it. community town, man. Let, just choose for us. You know? Our starter town, boys. All right. Oh, so that's true. Yeah. yeah. Podcast tile man start question mark and then what two towns start we have town to yeah from? town start yeah um it, it comes it's pretty pretty sure. this reminds me of the that twitch plays yeah stuff. twitch plays pokemon yeah. yeah that whatever that was called kind yeah. of reminds me of that yeah you two plays town man which towns to account. start and man, then that. yeah which like town and like, yo you two plays town man which start uh which town and then you put like four towns right lumbridge Varrock, or falador yeah, Zaya, nice. Zaya, Zaya. Come on, Zaya. Yeah, those, those are good. Zaya, those bro. Are good. Zaya, oh, yeah. dude. dude nobody, dude, nobody's gonna scale. select Zaya, man. Nobody. What, likes what do you Zaya. mean? Ver fucking chunk man got, got them views on that uh, shit, dude. Uh, you know, we'll have Ver <laughs> back on. We'll start one just for him. How about that? Then, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Whatever. I don't mind. That's a start. All right. Yo, shout, shout, oh Drumdo for for the for the marketing genius that he is. Honestly, we're gonna have to Honestly. pick your brains more, dude. We're already, we're already. Next I'm all, I'm always now. trying to learn. I I, I I follow like I don't know like thirty YouTubers that just talk about analytics all day long. Oh my god, dude! Oh, I would be stressed. I'm always trying to like I'm, I'm always god. trying to like figure things out because like different I things work fun, for anyway. different communities, especially with RuneScape. Different things work with the old school RuneScape community than yeah. it does with any other kind of gaming. Whatever. It really is a science, you know. It's a social science in, in its own right, you know. Yeah. Dude, I will say, like, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, part of the reason why I took a big, big step away from uh, sort of, like, health-related stuff, but, like, with yeah, content voting, creation and slowing bad. down with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah dude, vote. vote. Vote away. I voted. Uh, I voted. Or, I Put it on the, uh, on the, t- uh, the Twitter, too. Put on the Twitter <laughs> account. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, for real. Um, part of the reason why I stepped away from content creation so much, and I, I kind of regret it in some ways, but in others I don't. Um, was because I looked way too much at analytics. Yeah, yeah, where, I do it less where, now. Thankful. To the point where it was affecting my mental health, and I realized I can't be looking at this stuff, or it's just gonna fuck me up. So, so I um, try to look at it like you know, after a few after after a few days, if the video's looking all right, I'll look at it after a few days, you know. But if like the video's kind of looking bad, I'm like looking at it the day the, on the day because then I'm like, oh shit, I I, I feel like. This video deserves more, so I'll, uh, you know, maybe I'll market it slightly differently. I'll shift the title a bit, focus on a different aspect of the video. And sometimes 50-50, I'll save it. And other times, like, all right, well, it, this is a... Down the gutter. This, this, yeah. Yeah, it's down the gutter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's been several like times that. where I'll like update a, a, a thumbnail within, like, the first day, change the title a little bit. Uh, but I, I, I kind of feel the same way when I, when I upload a video and then I see that 10 out of 10 ranking. And I'm just yeah. like... Uh, like what 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 did i do wrong what yeah i, I try to learn from that that's how i that's that's how i kind of look at it personally yeah you should have like a I, few options yeah 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 and then but i switch th- there's different ways to look at it but I, I definitely agree with uh looking too into analytics and taking it in a in a negative way will definitely be you know you know it's not good on the the mental health that's for sure. yeah for sure you look down on yourself and you don't want to go mm-hmm. that route um but th- there's just different ways to look at it uh, yeah. I, I certainly make myself feel bad when I see a video go 10 out of 10 and it's there for a couple of days. I'll update it and it's like it doesn't move. And then there's been a couple of times where I'm just like, okay, the video has gone. Um, yeah. You know, what, yeah. What, yeah. Just, what can I do better? Yeah. Yeah. The, those though, I usually learn the most from. So there's still mm-hmm. some, you know, some bright sides to it. But yeah, I try to avoid those if possible. But yeah, sure. Yeah. I've learned a lot today, man. Thank you. It was, it was great picking your brain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the podcast channel is in good hands now. Even so yeah, like, for sure. Yo, Mints. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Drum yeah. is basically our our like mascot. You know, dude, he, <laughs> he, yeah, he's man. our analytic analytical consultant. Honestly, bro, yeah. the way he runs this stuff, I'll, I'll take a fourth member any day, bro. All right, we'll be. <laughs> yeah, no, no, y'all well, can reach well, out to me anytime. Yes, sir. Appreciate yeah, for sure. Yeah, sure. All right, well, uh, Drum. I guess we should wrap up, a, eh? Yeah, it's been a pleasure having you on the podcast, mate. Um. Where can the people find you? What are your socials? Uh, I'm a drum. Every, every, everything. Yeah, Twitch, Twitter. Every link second. in the description, yeah. of course. Oh, okay, no, no TikTok or nothing like that, but yeah, yeah Twitch, Twitch, YouTube, <laughs> uh, Twitter, you know, at I'm a drum. Bro, yeah, I we'll would be so surprised if people watching this podcast are like avid TikTok viewers, to be honest. <laughs> I would be very, very That's very a surprised. dimension that we need. It was, some people could explore. I don't know much about all right, okay, I'm gonna close it here though. So yeah, right, see right. you guys. Any last words? Yeah, yeah, okay, bye bye.